In a world in crisis, can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. Welcome to a show called Hate, a podcast in which we explore love, hate, and everything in between, in such a greater meaning and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Nick. I'm Chris. I admire your restraint. I didn't do it. It wasn't a lot of restraint, to be honest. Well, this is one I. We're, I'm holding a can. He's holding of a can. Of, he's holding a can of beer. Well, I keep forgetting that this is an audio-only podcast. And you were um, threatening to open it. In I was threatening to open it, and intro. you can see from the dent in it that I have dropped it. Oh, I see. Oh, so that would have burst all over. John. I, I feel like it probably would, but you created a thank, comedic I didn't, mess. I didn't drop it recently. Thank you for bringing that kind of pressure canister into uh, this enclosed space. Oh, you're very well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't mean it. <laughs> yes. The walls are, uh, to describe it to the listener, the walls have for several well, years I feel, now. I feel like the listener probably assumes we're in Nick's lounge, but after the 100th episode. My lounge? Yeah, because that's where we did the 100th episode. So they probably now picture oh, us. Yeah, that's true. You may have, that's probably where they picture yeah. us doing all of these. You may have forgotten that because of the months you spent in the hospital with, after all that pilk <laughs> oh you God, consumed. The pilk, yes. Yeah. They had to completely drain all of the fluids of my body. Yeah. Not just the ones that were in my digestive system. Yeah. But my lymph nodes blood. had to be drained. My blood. Yeah. My nervous system had and to be then, drained of electricity. Yeah. I'd never heard of that before. Just to get the pilk out. Just get out. the pilk out because the pilk sort of really gets in. Yeah. Yeah. Really gets- you know, you've, you've got a better chance of survival with or, with no fluid in your body than you have with even an ounce of pill. Even an ounce of pill. Yeah. What that's really, what the doctor said. That's, what, yeah, that's literally what he said. <laughs> what was really weird is that you know, you are fully endorsed by the state, I said, doctor. <laughs> You know, you know when you stay in a hotel and like at a breakfast bar, they might have those little individual jam pots. I do not know that. Yeah. Getting the pill out of you was a bit like that. It was yeah. weirdly thick. Yeah, well. we and like they scoop. have to use a spoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, came, it came out shaped like an army man for some reason, <laughs> like a Gumby man, yeah. Yeah. A little gumbo man. Mystifying. Yeah, you know how when you go to the hospital and they remove something from your body mm. and then they ask, "Would you like to keep it?" This is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, me- we're making this up. <laughs> Would you like to keep the pilk, sir, that we extracted yeah. from your body? And I said, yes, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. There, there may come a day that I want to drink it. Well, again. these, these yeah. are relatable stories that people can you know, connect with. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, you know when you drink four litres of milk and uh, Pepsi Max and, you, and, <laughs> well, you're, and you're hospitalised? <laughs> no, it's never, it's never Max. <laughs> never go Max, John. <laughs> yeah, you know, when, you know when you drink. Yeah, you know, do you think there's like a... Uh, you know, if there's if there's beer, there's beer is to spirits as pilk is to super pilk. Like, and that, it was like cream <laughs> and Max. Oh, Pepsi no. Max. Yeah, thick double cream yeah. and Pepsi Max. Lovely. No, Pepsi Max has no sugar in it. Oh, so see, that would that wouldn't be the full fat milk. Pepsi. Yeah, but I don't know what we actually had in the end. I think we no. did have full fat Pepsi. Well, you you remember. did it to us. I, know, I feel like I, did. You I feel would like know. I yeah. would have gone for pure the purest of pills. Oh yeah, the purest pure, of the pills. pure shit yeah. from source. Yeah, yeah. so I yeah. think I got standard Pepsi and and milk. So is is Pepsi Max sugar f- free? Is that the idea? Yeah, I like it's like Pepsi Coke Max. Zero. Yeah. It's a confusing uh, no- nomenclature, if you will, yeah. because Coke went for the zero. Yes, uh, as to, as to refer to zero sugar, mm. which although makes sense, it does kind of make their product sound shit. It's like this is Coke Zero, but they did this call it the call it fucking Coke Nort. <laughs> Coke Nil. Coke, Coke, Coke Nil. Yeah, Coke Nil. I well, quite like, like that. that. They did. Well, the thing is, they did Diet Coke, and then they were like, no. We What's need the a... difference between Diet Coke and. <coughs> I'm sure this is a Taylor's oldest time. What's the difference between Diet Coke and Coke Zero? I can answer that. I, yes. I can answer that. Please. As well. a Diet Coke's got a different flavour. Coke Zero is meant to be the same Coke flavour with no sugar. I understand. And my answer is. I like Diet John's Coke. John's got a different answer. My answer is. Mm. Coke, Marketing. Z- Coke Zero is for men. Oh, I, I think there is a big part of that because I Diet Coke was massively marketed at women. Was it? Well, I like Diet Coke. Because you had that sexy bloke, didn't you? A topless in his jeans. Oh, yeah. Washing windows. Pour, good pour it. He had a hot day. He cracks over a Diet Coke uh, and sprays it all down. And he's not sticky because there's no sugar in it. No sugar. Good. I guess you wouldn't be, would you? I think it's still sticky because aspartame or whatever the fuck it's called, which is the, the sweetener that isn't sugar, I think it's still sticky. <laughs> is it sticky? I don't actually know. I don't know. I feel like it would still be sticky. We should put that to the test. We, now, sh- we should do a sticky test. You're you're the Hom de Sucre. Like you you like sugar. Well, yes, I do, but I almost exclusively drink sugar-free 
Interesting. Uh, sodas, Interesting. if you will. I drink a Pepsi Max. Because you can get like a little sachet of like sweetener, can't you? Mm. Like if you're at the coffee bar, yes. you know, yeah. you're making your, your cheap instant coffee. But you coffee. see, like I am Hom de Sucre because I will not put sweetener in my hot beverages. Can you taste it? Yeah. It tastes dramatically different and I hate the taste of it. And I would love to do it because I know I'm consuming. You used to have know, a lot of sugar in your tea though. Is that right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I have sugar in my tea. Oh, you still coffee, have, but not sweetener. But not sweetener. I, I switched to sweetener for a while, wanting to, to, to imbibe less sugar. Sure. Um, if, it, yeah. if, if we're at a show, mm. and if one of us one of us does a, uh, a coffee run. Yes. Set, well, actually, no. If I do a coffee run, <laughs> and I, I come back with... I think that was a slam. I think it was slightly... No, 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 because yeah. Nick wouldn't tell the story. The point is, you're seeing I it from see. my perspective. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought you were saying, I'm still going to take it like a blast. But when I get... When I get... It's you're sounded, pulling, you're it's vibrating sounded, so fast with all the sugar you take. Nothing can hurt you. It sounded yeah, like you were saying it. Nick never gets coffee. No, no, he I does. Didn't it like... No, I just vibrated through your walls. That's <laughs> how so I get here. No, no. He <laughs> I'm out of phase with matter. <laughs> oh, so, hi, Nick. Hello, it's me no, again. My point is, when I'm getting a coffee for Nick and I... Yeah, because Nick, Nick never buys them. No, well... <laughs> <laughs> when, Fuck you, John. I, I get... For me, I get my black coffee. Yeah. And for Nick, I get... I'll have my coffee plain, please. Yeah. The way God intended. The plainest it yeah. can be, yeah. yeah. I get a latte. For, oh, yeah, for, I like, for me. No, I, oh, right. Yeah. I, I like a latte. My point like is... Yeah. Please, come with me on this journey. Yeah. My point is, I get two coffees. One for yeah. me. That's a black coffee. Boring. I get a latte for Nick. And I go... Good one. I know Nick likes sugar. Nick yeah. does like sugar. In yeah. his latte. Nick like a So sugar. I make a point of picking up three sachets of sugar oh. and a stirring stick. And I bring <laughs> those back to stirring Nick. Stirring yeah. stick. And I thought I was also doing a pretty good job. But I think not last, enough sugars. I think I saw last week with Nick. Uh, was, I don't have the heart to tell you because you you've gone to all that trouble. He was pimping his coffee, and I was it like four. Yeah. Here's five? the thing. Here's, shut up, you. <laughs> it's four, and there's oh, a, no, four the sugar, sugar rage is upon him. <laughs> 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 Quick, shut up, take cover. <laughs> and there's very good. Get this man a full fat pill immediately. <laughs> Give me a fifth sugar, you fuck. <laughs> Sure, thank, thanks so much for bringing me three sugars, but are you fucking insane? You, what is fucking wrong with you? Yeah. Do you know what I need? Do you know what yeah. my body requires? No, he's got like a an sachet em- of sugar. He's got, he's got like an emergency capsule he carries around his neck yeah, with yeah. like a wine gum in it. I spent that ages emergency. ago. I spent that ages ago. Tiny hammer. You yeah. know, like those Sorry. dogs that have like a barrel of beer yeah. around their necks. I have yeah. that for sugar. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Sorry, please continue. A sachet of sugar is half a teaspoon. I see. Right. That's so how many sa- sachets do you have? science. Science, yeah. That's science. So, how many, so, so how many I have sachets? four sachets, which so is two, two spoons. Two, right. Oh, okay. And I always have two spoonfuls of sugar. That's but, slightly but better. But John does sometimes bring me just three sachets of, oh. of sugar. And I don't... I mean, I'm, I'm kind of switching sides here. That sounds fucking mental, I John. don't have the heart to tell you that I could have done with one more. <laughs> and it's fine. I, it's good enough. I never realised because... It's just half a spoon off, It's just it? half a spoon off. I, I nev- can deal with half a spoon I off, never realised that a sachet was an SI metric unit. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then, oh, 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 a sachet yeah. is half a teaspoon. Oh, go, yeah. to, go to Paris, wherever they chart the SI units. Go yeah. into the SI vault mm. and they'll, te- they'll tell you. I heard something the other day that, like... Three teaspoons make a tablespoon? Yeah, that sounds about right. And then like three tablespoons make a... Make a man. Make a... Spatula. A spatula. And then like three spatulas make a cup. Like it's meant to be... Oh, it's meant to actually be three, three, three. Yeah, it's imperial. And it makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot. We should yeah, go back to imperial, yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah I'm really so. pro-imperial. Why is a sachet half a teaspoon? Yes. It's a great question. I feel we're the most qualified to answer this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have an answer for you. Like, mm. as much as I would like one, I feel as though they're trying to make us use more sugar. Is it like a kind of theft reduction method? Because if a sachet was a full teaspoon, then oh, they would be nicking there. Yeah, if you just ran up and grabbed a handful, so they'd be bankrupt. You'd get double the yeah. sugar. Yeah, I think Wouldn't that's you? how it works. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think the answer is probably they're trying to put as little sugar as possible in a sachet mm. per per sachet. Yes, because it's free. They can't sell it. No, or they don't sell it. They sell it to businesses. Now you like a a white sugar. In your, if, yeah, there, actually, if there was a brown sugar, that's fine. You? Yeah, yeah. no, I I'm not really that picky between white and brown. Sometimes mm. I can kind of taste the difference. Mm. Like if you put brown sugar in a coffee or a tea, it makes it taste a little bit like a cake, Ooh. which I quite like. Um, but sometimes I don't want a cakey drink. Sometimes I want just a, a big boy drink. Yeah, <laughs> you, know? you want you want that sugar, but not in like a kind of refined way. You just want like just I of, want it just, very logically. Just get it yeah. in me. Yes, I I need it. I just just and, need it. And when I need it, I don't need it to be like a cake because it's not. This isn't a fun time. No, it's, it's like, just it's just it just must happen. <laughs> this is very pragmatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like that. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but like there's that institute that makes like standard things so that we have something to compare things to oh like a qubit yeah yeah why not yeah, yeah. so for example yeah. like 
uh, if you were, hey, I want to get into the tea industry. I'm going to make mm. like, I'm, break it. I'm going to like Tetley's, you know, I'm really going to just disrupt the market. Well, it's, not that, it's not that crowded a marketplace, is it? So I, I think I'll be all right. Yeah. I, I, know, I can make a tea. There's a lot of tea out there. Fucking right? bag, put some tea in it. Yeah, how hard could it fucking, you can buy it. empty tea bags online. Can, did you actually do that? You? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Technically, you could put anything in a tea bag, couldn't you? You could. And you could flavour water Bovril. with it. I looked it up yeah. once, yeah. like how to make your own teas. And basically, mm. you just get a load of stuff you want your tea to taste like. Yeah. You put it on a, a baking paper lined tray in mm. your oven and just bake it to a point of it being like crispy, basically, for yeah. like hours. Crunch it up. It's low temperature, loads of time. Yeah. And then it becomes this like black kind of powdery shit. Yeah. Scoop all that into a little tea bag, seal the top, Lovely. pop it in a drink. I believe that would be a tisane. Ooh. Ooh. What does that mean? I think technically, to be a tea, it actually has to have the tea plant mm. in it. If you had like, I'm drinking a strawberry tea, I'd slap you and say, no, dickhead. No, because there's no, there's no fucking tea in it, you Yeah, shit. that's a that's What if there was tea in it? Then it would be a strawberry tea. Okay, but I would see. Fine. <laughs> yeah. This is why people don't invite me to the party. <laughs> that's actually not a tea. It's, it's a what, tea party. It's what you say, a tabane. T- <laughs> yeah, tabane. Hi, I'm tabane. Hi, Hi, what up? I'm tabane. I, I, I go, I'm Shaboy Tabane. Shaboy Tabane. Yeah, uh, it's the same. Tea pain. That's mean? what I yeah, said. Tea pain. Do you mean yeah. tea pain? The rapper yeah. tea pain. The rapper yeah. tea pain. Yeah. That's, that's what it's named that's after. What you meant to say. He yeah. makes yeah. a lot of tisanes. He does. <laughs> tea pains, tisanes. Yeah. <laughs> he should release a yeah, range that, of tisanes. Yeah, he really should. Tetley. Yeah. <laughs> Tetley, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Disrupt the market. Um, yeah. Shit. So, no, the thing I was going to say is that there's this institute that will write instructions on how mm. to make a standard cup of tea. I see. Oh. Mm. Now, this is. Mm, yeah. Because no one can agree on that. In the same way yeah. as no one can agree how to but put, I, put no. cream and jam on a fucking scone. But I think their point would no. be, it's not about making something that everyone agrees on. No. It's about having a standard that everything but can be... But how did com- they agree on the standard? Well, I guess they had to pick something. Yeah, well, that's I think bullshit. that's the point. And then everything can <laughs> be bet, compared I bet it, to it. I bet it's, okay, so even if it's a bad standard, at least it's a yeah, standard. Yeah, I bet it is a bad standard because they can't do a, like a, a brand's recipe. Even though one brand, mm. yeah, that's true as well. Because the they'll best. have different flavors, they'll but have I, different strengths. I think their point is that it's not even an especially good cup of tea. No, like they'll tell you. That no, to I, make, get, I get it. I to get make it. a standard cup of tea, it's like it's, it's take the tea bag, put it in water that is exactly X degrees, C. ninety-five mm. degrees. Let it boil for like two minutes, forty-eight seconds. You know, take it out, drain it, add like twenty-five milliliters of milk. You know, that kind of crap. Yeah, that and then I think you're drinking. Go, that's actually quite an underwhelming cup of tea. Yeah. Ah, yeah, but that's that's it's tea. That's if zero that's, tea. Yeah, that's you're you're, you're drinking like the commercial shit. That's tea zero. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're drinking tea. Tea, <laughs> tea zero. zero. Yeah, yeah. that's that's tea, tea max. But what yeah. I like to yeah, tea max exactly. Tea, tea max. What I like to make is tea. 4.0. Yeah. T which plus. just has a lot of sugar in it. Yeah. That's actually a second entry in the book. Yeah. yeah. And it's got whipped cream on top of it. Yeah. And a flake. Marshmallows and flake. And flake. <laughs> on yeah. a tea. On a, <laughs> it's like a builder's tea. Yeah. yeah. You get the standard manual out. It's like page 712, a standard cup of tea. Very good. Page 713, a dirty ass Nick Angel <laughs> brew. <laughs> I need to be in this book. <laughs> I need to be in there. Uh, don't what? make your own tea though because it, here we go. One. It'll be more expensive to make your own tea bag. You make one of your own tea bags. Yeah, that'll probably you've take used like energy, time, like bought your own ingredients, money. More than one tea bag you can get from the shop. Waste of time. Waste and of it'll taste time. worse. What if you make? It's like baking your own cakes. I've talked about this before. It's like baking your own <laughs> cakes. Don't do it. Just, just. Just buy a buy cake, a cake from the buy, shop. Buy a they cake. do it for a living. Buy a standard uh, platonic cake. Are they you, do it for a living, and they do it cheaper. They're way better at it than you. More efficiently. Are you? You're not. Your your cake's gonna be shit. Every time you <laughs> and expensive. <laughs> every time you 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 hear about people baking, like you know, a Great British Bake Off yeah. or whatever, are you a bit bake. like, do these people not know that you can buy? You can cakes? buy them. I probably have said that while watching the Bake Off sure, yeah. before. Yeah, I've never watched a Bake Off. Here's my a radical I do watch the bake uh, off. admission that I'm mm. gonna make on this podcast. Yeah, I Nick Angel. Yeah, never baked a cake. <gasps> I have no. never baked a cake. Have you ever have you ever flown a kite? I've flown a kite. Mm. Flown a kite more times than I've baked a cake. This flown a like, kite twice. This is like, what's a whimsical Victorian checklist of things uh, you're supposed to do? Yeah. Have you ever bought a penny dreadful? <laughs> it's like a Rudyard <laughs> Kipling poem. Have you ever completed your own hopscotch? Ooh. Oh, well, as in I've drawn my own hopscotch yeah. and then completed yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I've definitely done, done that. that. Yeah, no worry, fucking worries. I've I... done a level three hopscotch. Oh, um, yeah? Yeah, it's got five it's like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> So you got to go upstairs. Tessa. Yeah, Tessa. You've got to draw the stairs. you got to draw the stairs and walk up them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 4D hopscotch. It's a, yeah, it's a two-dimensional. No, three-dimensional. Fuck three off. Up. And it could be any dimension. Could be it? all of them. You know, I've I've made. I think I've I've made a kind of fruit cake. That counts, doesn't it? That's yeah, a cake. It's a cake. It's a cake. It's got cake in it. Got cake in the title, John. I've made cake, but let me tell you, 
much shitter than what you buy in the shops. I do not yeah. doubt and that. And cost a lot more. Mr. Kid. Don't bother. Yeah. People say, people are known to say, yeah, which Ooh, people? A home baked cake is is the best cake you can have. Not true. Okay. Objectively, mm-hmm. not just true. wanted to check on you. Not true. <laughs> Depends on the baker. If someone goes on Bake Off, I would like to think they can make a good cake, but it's still more expensive than the one you would buy. In what Tesco. about a guy who makes cakes or Aldi. for a living? He makes a cake at home. Yeah, he's probably made quite a good cake. Sure. Yeah, but he could still buy a cheaper one at Tesco. That's definitely fact. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. Maybe like because he spends all day making. Like really high end cakes. When he gets home, he's like, "Fuck this." What well, is yeah, like a chef? A isn't it? A chef doesn't want to go home and cook for everyone. They get Ma- McDonald's. Yeah, or they're famous they get, for it. Yeah, yeah, chefs do. They want yeah. filth. Yeah, they, just they want, want some filth. Yeah, some of that stodge in them. They want. They want a platonic zero meal. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've never seen genuine question. Now. I've never mm. seen. Oh, we're doing genuine questions great now. British Bake Off. Well, you're like you, you. You. I think you've got a finger on a pulse with this sort of thing. Thank you. You're scum of the air. I mean, salt of the air. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so either. Oh my fine. On like a <laughs> talent show like X Factor or something, they'd yeah. have like they filter. So it hasn't been on air for about but, five years, but sure. <laughs> but you, <laughs> Let's go with that. Yeah. But you're bringing someone <laughs> who's like you get a good person, you get a mediocre person, and then they give you Doing what? Ab- Sing- singing, singing. Right. yeah, or oh, yeah. X Factor, yeah. And then yeah. you get an absolute beefer who can't yeah. do shit. Yeah. yeah. Is is that like the Great British Bake Off? Do they have at least no, one they're... guy who doesn't know what a cake is? <laughs> for celebrity, I mean, that would do. be great. And then they walk out going, "I'm going to bake, bake the best cake you've ever seen." When they get eliminated, you're this is the last you've heard of me. Yeah. James Acaster famously was very bad. Yes, wasn't he? The yeah. celebrity one, they they just get them to turn up and do whatever they want. And do, he was kind of very thing. funny. <laughs> James Acaster, what did he say? Oh, I started baking, had a breakdown, bon appetit. <laughs> That was what he did on the celebrity version. And it was awful. Yeah, and it was just sludge. <laughs> and he was trying to make flapjacks, and it was yeah. just sludge. Had a break but no, the bakers on the, bon the real inverted commas version are generally... They're never... It's never like a joker. It's they, no, they, they have yeah. a disaster. You know, there are disasters that happen. They're almost... Because I've watched a bit of it. They're yeah. almost always like their family and friends have told them that they're the best yeah. baker that oh, they know. Sure. Yeah. yeah, And then they rock up, and they, they're quite good. But now they're put through the fucking crucible. Mary Berry's crucible of, yeah. of flour and eggs. Yeah. Well, do, you remember, do you remember when like, MasterChef was taking the world by storm? Oh, yeah. And maybe it still is. I don't know. Is that still a thing? It's still around. Yeah. Is okay, it? Yeah. Go. I mean, yeah. It's, the UK version has never quite taken off. No. Because it was... it's got Greg Wallace involved. Yeah. Greg Wallace Was it John... not ours originally? Maybe. But there, no. was, there was a different version of it in the 90s with Lloyd Grossman. Yeah. Oh, it was, which it was... was like they were all, it was like a game show almost rather yeah. than a, what it is now which is like a journey you know yeah, you yeah, know yeah. like you know like on a sunday evening british television when we were growing up was awful you get like songs That's of so praise bad. antiques roadshow <laughs> master chef and master chef felt like a four hour long program yeah. uh where it, people just slowly cooked three <laughs> meals under no pressure and then, like, lloyd, lloyd, <laughs> lloyd got to know them and it was just yeah. like and the, and the winner is doesn't really matter and then at some point around the turn of the millennium uh an Australian production company bought the rights to it, oh. but completely you know changed the format, but completely reinvented the show, and it was an absolute Hit. sensation. And, and then, then the we UK got that back. readapted it back. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. But my point is, I, remember, I don't mind MasterChef. It's it's it's, it's pretty, not quite as popular as some of the other cookery. Well, things, like Ready Steady Cook. But it made like, it Ready Steady Cook. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Still going right? I'm sure. <laughs> But MasterChef, well, at a point, was like it'd be on like four nights a week or something like that. Oh you know? yeah, and every week they start it's the journey, and you start with like thirty people, like the, the they're whittling it down, and it's like yeah, it's like the Apprentice. Greg Wallace and John Tarrod are yeah. just there going. But clip of like, cooking doesn't get fucking more mm-hmm. intense than, than this. this. Yeah. If you can't handle the heat, get out of and the then he, kitchen. And then, he, then, he, then he punches most of the contestants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, but there was a bit, and this is where the producers clearly let a beefer on right? because he was like let a you, you know he just oh you've absolutely beefed it Mark you know, you know there's no nice way of saying because like he's like you know you get the little talking head he's like oh yeah I love cooking for my family and you know my kids always really love my yeah. food and then what he served up because it's like you've got this amazing pantry yeah. and he'd like it was like oh what am I going to make and he served up basically like boiled potatoes boiled carrot and a bit of meat and like you're like, like <laughs> meat to ju- veg yeah just like nice. chopped the carrot into like sticks <laughs> and like boiled wow. it and then I <laughs> everything's boiled. And, 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 I just, I John and boiled I've sausage. boiled everything for and, you. And John is enjoy. <laughs> and John Turturro is like no syphilis. He goes, what's this? He goes, well, it's uh, carrots, potato, yeah. and you know, a bit. So of meat. John Turturro kick the shit out of him. <laughs> I was saying John Turturro. Yeah, sorry. John Turturro goes, is there a bite out of that carrot? What? And he's like. Yeah, there is actually. Yeah. What? Yeah, as in he'd taken a bite out of it mm-hmm. to check. Oh, oh, that's good. And then put the other and half put it back. back. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. No, wow. I've never seen that. The look of disgust on. Oh, you would though, wouldn't I you? Would. Yeah. I'd be I disgusted. don't blame him for that. I've yeah. never seen that one. And he went on to win. 
Yeah, because, yeah, that was in the final. He's got, he's got four restaurants in yeah. Soho. Tyrone's yeah. like, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you've done it again. Yeah. Taking a point. bite out of the carrot. Genius. Genius, I'd never have thought of that. But that's a good point, though. What if it was actually a really good boiled carrot? Like, like the best you'd ever yeah. had. Yeah. Maybe we've all been I doing don't, it wrong. I don't know how you would objectively <laughs> say this is the best boiled carrot I've Wasn't ever your had. love the other week like carrot? I do like carrot, but I like a raw carrot. Yeah, true. But I don't know. I don't know how you can elevate a boiled carrot to such. There's an extent. a ceiling, right? There's, there's, yeah, there's a level to which carrots cannot the flavor ceiling, go beyond. Yeah. And I'd like yeah. to think that most of us have probably eaten the best a boiled carrot can be. Boiled mm. carrot, bit of butter, and some pepper. Sure, Ooh. that feels like it's above this guy's station. But also, it feels like it's not the carrot really anymore doing the heavy lifting. Exactly. The yeah, you like it because it's there. butter flavor. Exactly. Butter flavor. <laughs> I love a butter-flavoured carrot, please. Yeah, Oh, yes, please. My my nine, my Welsh grandma, mm. rest, mm. rest her soul, uh, used to boil all her vegetables for yeah. at least what felt like an hour. Great. Like the softest veg <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> ever come fell in. apart on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hungry, I can't pick up this. <laughs> this tuba. It just what is it about old people that just boiling just everything boil to death? Is just it because they don't it. have any teeth, so they just have to gum it all? I just think it's because they, it. they grew up during, like, you know, yeah. rationing and. And the outbreak of the fucking bubonic yeah. plague. And there was no, no lighting, so no one knew what was going on on the hob. <laughs> Yeah. And no sense of time hadn't been invented yet. How long has that been on the hob? The, Dunno. Once the sun went down, the sundial didn't work anymore, so they were fucked. Somewhere between 20 minutes and three months. <laughs> <laughs> probably safe, though. Safe it's to eat. Yeah, yeah, probably fine. Yeah, which are on the, on the bright side. A L- lot of people caught polio back then from like yeah. a raw carrot. So, oh, sure. You know. Oh, you've got, oh, yeah. got, oh, yeah. got to boil the sickness. Got to boil this carrot. Yeah. Can't eat raw carrots. <laughs> boil the polio out of it. That's yeah. where that phrase comes from. Oh, yeah. I'm going to so, boil yeah. the polio yeah. out of you. Yeah, if I had a, if I had a penny for every You'd time. You'd be poor. I'd, uh, yeah, I'd have a cup, <laughs> no couple of pennies. pennies. Mm. A couple of pennies. Oh. Uh, uh, that's been now reminiscing. That was good. Yeah, yeah good, good. Uh, good cold open. There you who's, go. who's, got, who's got a hate? Oh, yeah, go on then. Oh, you got one. Yeah, oh, I've, got, I've got one. Chris has got, got a hate, everyone. I've got one. Now shut up and listen to it. Shut the hell up. I'm going to talk now. It's time for Chris to talk. Clothes audit. Doing clothes a, audit. Doing a clothes uh, audit. I did one of these recently. Exactly. Pain in the ass. Pain you're, in the ass. you're a very fashionable man. You Was. Are. It's been said. Oh no, what's happened? Used to be. You, you know, lost all I'm your not, clothes. I'm not particularly fashionable. Because you threw them all out. I, just wear, I wear block coloured t shirts or jumpers and jeans. Mm. That's pretty much my style. That's now. kind of my style as well, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's all like, like a, gra- a graphic people... tee. A and jeans. Get this graphic tea. Give this man a graphic tea. Give me a, yeah. and a very graphic, like a gaping anus. Yes. Does a lot for me. On a tee. On a t shirt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the more graphic. Well, I'm, the better. I'm wearing a chocker. I'm wearing a Star Wars graphic tee. There you today. go. Graphic. Well, I'm wearing a one piece graphic tee. Did, did, did yeah. that come out of some kind of loot crate? No, this no. <laughs> this was a Christmas present from my mum. Oh, that's nice. Very yeah. nice of her. So, um, I don't think Christopher Ray partakes of loot crates. No, I did. Oh, very really? Briefly. I can, oh, like now I think much less of you. <laughs> when Funko Pop brought out the Han Solo on Tonton, <gasps> Funko Pop special Funko. I bought that box. Was and it? Then, only and, then, in... and then I had it for a week, and I was like, I'm not sure I want this. <laughs> So I sold it at a vast profit. What you sold the uh, pop? The, the, yeah, yeah. The Funko at a profit. Was it only available to a local a... nerd? Was it only available on that loot crate then? Yes, at the time. Wow. Now what it's a fucking everywhere. What a steal! Though. Yeah, I did. I made a sweet, sweet profit out of selling some of that shit. Let me tell you. Anyway, anyway. clothes audit. Um, did it recently. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd probably still own every piece of clothing I've ever had. Mm, but I think I'd be the same. I think I'm very happy to keep things around just in case. Mm. I might wear them again. Not going to wear them again. So Liz basically forces me to do it. Yeah. And that's fine. But I'm very resistant. <laughs> and that's fine because we're married. Because that's I? fine because yeah. we're married. And, and she's ha- objectively and we need correct. Space. She's objectively correct. Yeah. Let's yeah. be honest. But, oh, God, I have to go through just clothes. And I, I remember the memories, you know. Of yeah. Those clothes. I then just think, I might wear this. I yeah. might wear this. And I try and justify it to Liz. And she just goes, no, yeah. you're not going to wear this. It's like an X-shaped, like, leather chest. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of, that, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing. I go yeah. to it. No, I still wear that. I now still again. wear that yeah. under my cl- work clothes. Um, yeah, exactly. To feel sexy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like business on the top. Exactly, you and know. then sexy underneath. Yeah. Leisure underneath. You know, nipple clamps. Keep those. Keep those. You're yeah. badminton kid. You haven't played badminton in 14 years. Yeah, oh, I might get back to I it. I might get back well, to it. Yeah. That actually happened. Oh, right. Not with badminton, but my my cricket whites. Oh god. Oh, you got cricket. Oh, you I did. Well, I did. When yeah. did yeah. you last play cricket? Well, there we are. <laughs> in whites, let alone. You sound a bit like Liz. Yeah, <laughs> just having a cat. Bloody hell. Are we married or something? <laughs> 
<laughs> when did you last play fucking cricket? When did you cricket? last play cricket? Liz, Liz had me on speed dial. It was like an intervention. If you want to listen to me, listen yeah. to John. Yeah. When did you last play cricket? When did you, you last shit? play cricket? cricket? Oh, well, I might go again. Yeah, I might get back into it. So I had to get rid of them. Sure. Uh, yeah. I had to get rid of them. Um... <laughs> Just lots of old jumpers. There's jumpers you would probably remember from when I was 20. Right. Genuinely yeah. that got thrown out this Fuck. weekend. I find the whole thing very stressful. Yeah. I find it, I get hot and bothered. All the fucking clothes are everywhere because they're just stuffed in the wardrobe, especially mm. now because Liz had a dressing room, which was our box room. Oh, yeah. And now the baby lives in there. That's very selfish of the very baby. Very selfish think, of the yeah. baby. Have you still got stuff you were wearing like uh, 15, 16 years ago? Yeah. Like how much storage space were you taking up? Oh, well, enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the wardrobes in our room were mine. Sure. Until Very fashionable, Liz right? put some of her clothes in there. And I was forced to get rid of a lot of it. Ah, so and then again at the weekend, I was forced to get rid of some more. And she's not wrong, but it's hard work. <laughs> and I get hot and sweaty doing it. I'm just like, oh, this is a pain. I don't like doing this. I'm just... But don't you get a slight bit of satisfaction at the end? <sighs> like, the process, awful. I agree with that. But when I did mine a couple of weeks ago... Yeah. Like... I got to the end and I was like, I've got quite a neat, like, curated wardrobe now of stuff that's all good, not just some. It's all killer. And, yeah, exactly. It's all killer, no, no filler, filler now. I do feel somewhat that way, but also I miss the clothes. Mm. I miss the memories. Particularly the cricket whites. Particularly the cricket whites. You know me. <laughs> Always, always playing cricket, me. Always a cricket uh, in your always, heart. Always playing. I've still got, you got your yeah. beekeeper out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I've got a t-shirt. I've still, I've kept this as like pajamas. Sure, yeah. Which means yeah. I'm not going to wear it. Uh, it's just got the number seven on it, and I remember buying it, and I was like, maybe twelve, and I'm not. Ne- that's oh, I'm that's just the like, wrong age. I'm not getting rid of that. Still Wait. fits. It's still baggy on me. What? So wow. I don't know why. It was you bought it when you were twelve. It, yeah, something and it like that. It still fits. And it's it was baggy like the, it was the nineties. Oh yeah, baggy. People clothes. People love baggy shit, true. didn't they? Yeah. So I'm still keeping some of this shit. What but... drew you to that number seven top? Fuck knows. Okay, I don't. We remember. like that's my age minus five. I vaguely <laughs> recall that's my age. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I vaguely recall being in a market somewhere. Abroad. Oh, sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And buying it. Yeah, and it's. Ah, Lissette. Ah! <laughs> Lissette, très bien! J'adore Lissette. <laughs> oh, oui. Ah, bon. It's just a shop called Lissette, and Lissette. all of the all clothes, of clothes have, have seven, on seven on them. <laughs> so I've kept that. There's a big number seven behind the till. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Salut. Salut, set. Je suis set. Set euro. Tu achètes set. Ah, uh, <laughs> your change. Avec la rue du sesame. Yeah. Uh, no. No. De, no. No. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. All the way oh, up yeah, there. exactly right. Yeah, You've got yeah. fond memories, fond French memories. I've got memories. fond memories of buying that T-shirt and never yeah. wearing it. Interesting, uh, yeah. So I've kept that. Yeah. Okay. There's various... <laughs> of all of the ones to keep. I've kept that. Keep the one I don't wear. I've got a jumper with holes in, and I said to Liz, that's a very comfortable jumper. I still wear that, and yeah. I do. Yeah, you're so right. That, and so I'm ke- I've so kept, kept that. that. Yeah. I've kept that. I've had, show Liz. I've had that 15 years. Yeah, in kept all that. Imagine the shit I was throwing out. If those things there, was a jumper, <laughs> there was a jumper I had that had it's all horizontal stripes. I don't wear horizontal stripes now. Really? It doesn't make me look good. Is that a fashion choice? That's a fashion choice. Everyone thought he was moving really quickly. So Liz... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Blur man. Exactly. <laughs> or it was a barcode. Um... <laughs> So Liz made me get rid of all my horizontal striped clothes. Sure. I was like, well, oh. they might come back into fashion. They won't. I'm not mm. going to wear horizontal stripes. Do you so wear vertical gone stripes? In the bin. Do I wear vertical stripes? No. Because then you'd look like a circus performer or... Yeah, I'd look ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Police would keep calling, pulling you over because you look like a burglar. Yeah. 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 In, in jail. Is no. burglar vertical? No. Burglar's horizontal as well. No. I, well, I, um... John's losing his mind, everyone. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't Listen happen up. very often. <laughs> Diagonal. <laughs> diagonals. Yeah, yeah. It's called diagonal. diagonal. It's called quite diagonals. You wear, you wear <laughs> diagonals. Don't wear diagonals. <laughs> Split the difference. Don't wear, di- don't wear diagonal stripes. <laughs> talk about our feelings. <laughs> so I've kept all my block coloured t shirts and jumpers. So good. Basically. Mm-hmm. And some jeans. What about formal wear? Formal wear, I've got all my suits still. Mm-hmm. That will. That, that, oh. Hmm. Mm. Ten? Ten, Ten suits. suits? Something like that. Yeah. That's a lot of suits. I, I had yeah. an audit after being like best man a few times yeah. and I had like all right, weird flex. four or five and I was like that was too much I've, oh I'm not going to wear them all Yeah, I've got four or five suits at the moment I yeah. can't bring myself to, to get rid of any of them even I though I, I don't, don't fit I don't like throwing things away oh, that's fair. it bothers me yeah. but, but you love buying shit but if I wasn't married oh, to Liz I, I would probably have become a hoarder by now mm. I reckon okay. just so much shit around Yeah, so much but shit I just around. find the process very very disorientating I like an object Oh sure, I'll do purchase you, an object. Yeah, yeah. Do you find you get hot and bothered because it's hard physical work, or because you're having some kind of like you Melt, know meltdown. deep emotional reaction? To I, think yeah. I think it's a bit of both. Yeah, I think it's a bit of both. I'm just thinking, oh, oh god, 
But what about the, these precious memories I have wearing this top? Oh, my memories, the dirt, the sweat, yeah, the, the weave. Yeah, and then, the then I think to myself, was it that good? I mean, and the answer is usually yes. No. Mm. Usually, yeah, usually yes. Usually I was having a rollicking good time. How many pairs of trousers do you own? Do I own now? Not many. No, I don't own a lot of pairs of trousers, mm. to be honest. I, I mean, I'm it's all like relative, six, isn't it? But Six mm. pairs? I have. I have. I have work jeans. I have the jeans I'm wearing now. Sure. Which is like grey jeans. I have blue jeans. I have light grey jeans. <laughs> a lot of jeans. And I have black casual jeans. So I guess five pairs of jeans, although I don't like wearing them all. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. And they, I, I've split my jeans multiple times celebrating goals or just general wear and tear. That yeah. kind of thing. Big sure. farts. Yeah. <laughs> Big farts. Yeah. Yeah. I should stop doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why you choose to do so it. So now I've become better at that because I used to keep them even though they had holes in them because they were comfortable. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah. But then I didn't want people to see my cock and balls. No, no. So, <laughs> so I had to start I, really I had like... to start to get the program there. I really, really like these jeans. But if I wear them, everybody will see, see my, my, cock... my dick button balls. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel good about that. No. <laughs> so it's really a trade-off. Yeah. Jeans, there's this dick new, button balls. There's this new fashion trend which says... Don't show off your dick button balls. Yeah, yeah. And I'm subscribing to it's it. It's a bit radical, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's bloody Thatcher. Um, <laughs> Thatcher's brilliant. Margaret Thatcher. I think I, I think I have not cider. If you're not, not Liz, is what I meant. Oh yeah, yeah good was, point. That was yeah, her maiden name. name. I meant yeah. Margaret Thatcher. If you're not counting, <laughs> good clarification. That was that was probably worthwhile. <laughs> what a dodge. <laughs> if you're not counting like a, a kind of like a suit, like a smart suit, mm. I think I own two pairs of trousers. Oh yeah, I'm not counting my suits. Yeah. Yeah. Only two pairs. I think so. That's that, not that I would not enough. What if something happens to well, one? Well, two pairs. I have, I have like, I have like, I guess, sweatpants, leisure, leisure, which you wear, say, of an evening. Of an evening, yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, when I really want to let it all, you know, kind of Dick flow, balls. flap, flap yeah. around down there. Yeah. But in terms of like showing up and not being a complete waster, yeah, like to work, yeah, with me, yeah, <laughs> you have two of those yeah. two trousers for those occasions uh, two indeed I, 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 I do feel I potentially need one more at least I would say I would say three yeah saves two. you from a, a, a shit storm two feels like a risk because yeah. if something to happen to one of those pairs of trousers you're in you're not whoa you're, on you're down to one pair yeah. if you were in a splatter pants situation code splatter pants oh example. yeah like, by the way it's this line of thought which has led to me having multiple pairs of the same clothes <laughs> yeah. oh but what if I fell down and shat myself exactly yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a weird thing about trousers where I like uh, I'll, I'll often not find a good trouser, like mm. jean or mm. jean or, or whatever, and yeah. then and then I'll find a good one, mm. and I'll suddenly be incredibly paranoid because I know it won't last forever. Yeah, and yeah. one day I'll split the crotch, I'll split the butt, yeah. I'll split the knees. And you won't be knees. able to get those back again. Yeah, and so yeah. sometimes I think genuinely, I think like the ones I'm wearing right now, I really mm. like, for example. And sometimes I think I might just go on the website because I know they still sell it. I might just buy like five pairs, reserve pairs. Yeah. yeah, spend about a hundred quid. Yeah. on these, and then I'll be just be fucking keep, fine. Keep them up, keep them locked because away. I don't really accessorize the leg part. The legs no. part of my outfit are very it's just a neutral base just legs. yeah nobody like, and, no, then the, yeah. and then the t-shirt is an interesting zone sure a jacket got a lot of jackets yeah so mm. i might i might deploy a nice jacket or yeah. a jumper those are those are places where i'll gotta have a nice jacket exactly yeah. gotta or have jump, a nice jacket. yeah or jumper yeah. gotta play out a bit of style there maybe a hat mm. got a couple of baseball caps cravat a, cra- a cravat hat. a cravat yeah, yeah. A cravat. particularly over a graphic tee looks incredible <sighs> cravat yeah. and graphic yeah. Nice. Tea, yeah. yeah um yeah, sometimes a choker, like a shell oh, choker, is sure. very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Got a drawer full of them. Got a drawer full of those. Yeah, yeah. Mm. bangles galore. That's why they call me bangles galore. They do call town. you that. Yeah, and, yeah. A, and Elizabeth. It's bangles galore. Ruff. And Elizabethan ruff's nice. Having he, a little ruff. He shows it, off yeah. the chin. Yeah, I'd yeah. say that kind of thing. Yeah. So like you may yeah. need a clothes audit. I'm except. Well, I did it recently. I just didn't do very well. But no. like, I, I, I got more clothes. I accessorize waist up and then trainers. Mm. I'll sometimes sure. spend a bit of focus on. Yeah. You know, like like. Jeans, if you will. Yeah, like oh, den- denim jeans. Everybody wears jeans. Oh, those. Like, they're yeah. just like those. there's like a tyranny of jeans. Jeans and, uh, rule the world. They do, and there yeah. are times in my life where I think to myself, "Man, I wear nothing but jeans." Mm. You, I wonder. Yeah, annoying. <laughs> I wonder if there's like an alternative, and then like Not this really. dark wood door opens, and you just hear jeans. Chinos. Oh, fuck off, Chinos. I hate Chinos. Every I wore time, Chinos for a few years, yeah. and then I, now I know. No. Every time I've bought a pair of Chinos. Uh, they look so bad. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. And the thing so... is, I know that some yeah. guys can rock a chino, yeah. right? Yeah. And those are usually a very fashionable. Oh, yeah. yes. And they'll wear like a boat shoe without a sock. Oh. And they'll wear a, a yeah. shirt buttoned low down to navel. Oh. You know, and they'll be tanned and they'll be olive skinned and yeah. they'll have black swirling hair. That like... man has two jumpers and he's not wearing either of them. Yes, yes. I bet, exactly. Yeah. I bet they have a frequent clothes audit though. Oh, and I those bet guys. they, those, those kind of men can rock a chino. But, mm. the, but a normal podge man like us, we're podgy, right? 
right. Thank Just you. Speak for myself. Here. Sorry, yeah. a doughy plum shaped. That's what Thank I meant. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. No, that's sorry. A, yes. Well, I if mean a, to insult. If yeah. a pear shaped t shirt fits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can't rock chinos. I'm sorry. It just I doesn't. Used, I used to wear brown chinos everywhere. I bet that you yeah. looked. I look fucking awful okay. now. I'm, yeah, not... I'm glad what, you said it. But what is it about a chino? Why do they just look bad on everyone unless yeah. you're like going to the Henley regatta? I think I, <laughs> I think I must have yeah. thought they looked good. I must have. I have one pair of trousers that aren't jeans but mm. aren't chinos and I don't oh. know what they are. Mm. I don't know. I didn't I, know there was such a I know. thing. It's like, like the fifth form of matter. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're green and they're not denim oh. and they've got like pockets like on the combats. side. Combats. They're, combats. But they're not combats either mm. because... Oh. I don't know what the fuck they are. Combats need to come back yeah. in a big Remember way. Remember combats? Combats. Are they store- Car keys. Yeah. Car key, yeah. Car keys. Not store key, your not car key, keys. Where you store, store your car, car keys because yeah. you've got enough pockets for them. Yeah. Not keys to open your car. You know, I, I those... don't like wearing car key fabric because I, I keep thinking I'm invisible. That's true. Because of all the camouflage. That's true. Yeah. Those jeans, not jeans, those trousers. Fuck you. That 90s. Oh. Sorry. Ladies used I didn't, to wear. I didn't realise I was on mic then. And they're like off the hips. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, sorry, everyone. Let's just take a moment. Nick is actually trying to tell a story. Oh. You're just, I'm just swearing basically just, screaming obscenities. You're just right. being a big yeah. troll. Yeah. Why yeah. are you so angry at him? Because he said a bad thing. About the camouflage? Yeah, didn't like that. Didn't like that. No, I didn't like that at all. Okay, strike that one from the register. I just said I liked wearing... You didn't like wearing... Army camouflage clothing in the 90s because I felt it like... I was invisible. Please strike it from the joke list. Yes. Christopher okay. Ray did, Don't not, do that one did again. not enjoy the joke. Didn't like that Please one. Please remove it. Sorry. You're right. <laughs> I'll write to the MOD and apologise. <laughs> <laughs> if I could find them. <laughs> oh, brought it back. Brought it back. Whoa, Keep, it Keep it in. Keep it in. Oh, anyway, that's very good. No, anyway, fuck you, though. Anyway, tell us about your off for hip. Well, it's not, not for boys. Oh, sure, But yeah. for ladies. Oh. They're back. What's back? They're, they're sort of like combats, but they're very baggy. Oh. And they're usually white or cream-coloured. I see. Off the hip. Very, very low riding. Lots oh. of pockets down the side. But yeah. you're describing a tent. Yeah, very tent-like, yeah. actually. But Utility belt. Do you remember the band All Saints? I do. Who yes. could forget? Yes. Well, <laughs> were With, they... Um, well, uh, like... um, the, the lady who married that guy from the Prodigy. Yes. Nicole. Well, one of them married Lee, Liam Gallagher. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. And then they got a divorce. You know, Appleton. Ap- either way, when there two Appletons in All Saints, because they were sisters. Yes, they were there. sisters. Yes. And then there was another one. Yeah. It was like ABBA, like every letter in All Saints yes, was one was of the band of... members, all 19 yeah. of them. Like Leroy in All Saints. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was All Saints and there was Tommy Kitten, and I was... always confused. It was <laughs> Leroy. <laughs> Let's Leroy... all sit around talking about things we can't remember. <laughs> Leroy was in both. We could do that. We could do that anytime. Yeah, yeah, like I was talking about this the other day, like the 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 the, the very the pantheon of like girls bands. Yeah, girls like, bands. What did they all like embody? Because you had mm. um, <laughs> you had a, oh, let's not get into this. Yeah, Atomic Kitten, and like they loved going to Iceland to get in bargains. That's uh, technically true. Yeah, I think, then, I think that was Kerry Katona years later <laughs> only. <laughs> and you had All Saints. I think that was when she was a bit hard up. <laughs> yeah, All Saints. What did All Saints bring to the pie? Nothing. Yeah. I think they just did nothing it. memorable. They did a couple of songs. What was then... that song? Pure and simple gonna be. That's hearsay. There. Fuck me. See, this is it. They They're did... all interchangeable. They did that song called The Beach for the movie. Are you sure the... that's hearsay? That's definitely hearsay. Um, I feel like it's I'm, either I'm Atomic Kitten or 100% all sure I, that's I hadn't hearsay. thought about that song since it came I'm, out. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry to And now I can't out. remember where it pushed a memory out of my head. I don't know where I put my insulin. <laughs> <laughs> I was alright. I was alright till that. I've got six you're, hours. You're, it's like we're <laughs> just dying. Go. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna be there. Oh no, his sugar levels. No. <laughs> I, that's that, how I'll know from now on yeah. if you're like, yeah, getting tired. Struggling. I'm moving. I'm coming. No, that's all safe. So that is all safe. <laughs> yeah, we did it. I'm cured. We got that. <laughs> My diabetes is cured. Oh, I left it on the desk. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> oh, at least you put pure and simple back out. Oh, no! Sorry, wait, that was hearsay, was it? Pure and pure simple, and simple was. was hearsay. That was, they were a pop idol, were they? They sure. were a pop idol. Yeah. Pop stars. Pop stars. That's the one. See, I put hearsay in the in the same group as Steps and F Club. I put them over there in that section yes. of girl bands. But then I put Atomic well, Kitten they had, they had and All Saints. They also. Hearsay. Yeah, fuck the boys. <laughs> And then, and then I put All Saints and Atomic Kitten over here in a different zone together. What yeah. about the Spice Girls? Spice Girls, League of Their Own. League of Their Own, that is yeah. true. Yeah. They basically defined the, the genre. Yeah. So All Saints, Spice Girls. Girls, what was... Girls Allowed. Girls Allowed. They were a bit later, weren't they? They were slightly later. They were, but they were a pop stars. 
They were. They were the a pop star. Sugar Babes. The rivals. Pop stars, the rivals. Yeah. What, Sugar what, Babes. What happened Sugar to? Babes. What happened? What the happened original, to? The original. The original Sugar Babes. <laughs> and then the, the subsequent Sugar Babes. The Sugar, Sugar Babes, Babes is a real ship of Theseus. I mean, yeah. But... <laughs> They should they should study that. They? Get, they, really, <laughs> they really should. Ship of Mutt, yeah. I get, I get. Um, she was Gen two. Sugar babeology. Well, I, was she Gen one? Was Mutcha Gen one? Mutcha was Gen one. Okay. <laughs> Mutcha Kesha, and another one. The blonde one. No, Heidi. the the redhead one. But my oh, brain, fuck me. But yeah, my was... brain wants to then put Heidi. Kerry. I want Heidi's Gen two. My brain wants to put Kerry Katona no. in. Put her in Sugar Babes. It, Do what you want. Yeah, but she was in. She was in she uh, was Atomic, Atomic Kitten. It was Gen 1 yeah. Atomic Kitten. Oh, did they have Gens? Well, she got replaced. By? By. Uh, Holly le- Willoughby. Yes. <laughs> Holly Valance. No. Holly Valance was a solo. She came from She got Neighbors. replaced by a tall woman. Was Holly Valance ever in a band? No, she was a... She, she was, did her own single. She did her own single, she did Kiss, a, kiss. kiss, Kiss. My LAX. No. That's Rachel Stevens. That's Rachel Stevens, <laughs> who broke free of the S Club uh, curse. She was everyone's first crush, Rachel <laughs> Stevens. Whoa. Oh boy, howdy. Yeah. I love how like every member of S Club 7 brought something different to the party. And it's like, the looks, the dancing, I can sing. <laughs> and then the other four. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then the backing dance. I guess they danced. Yeah. 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 Can't say they didn't dance. Um, so yeah, good. But we've, we've touched on pop. And, I and as I say, all of that. a lot of my clothes were around when Atomic Gear was around. <laughs> yeah. So... So that's that. Yeah, if anything, you modelled your wardrobe quite a lot after Atomic. Kingdom, yeah, I'd I say think. so. Yeah. In the end, yeah. yeah. In the end. Uh, but until recently, when I've just chucked a load of stuff. But Atomic, you were... by the way, Atomic Kitten. Yeah, that's a hell of a name. It's isn't a great it? name. Someone Can't like... remember a single song. No, but I would name. Um, uh, Baby, you're the one. one. And still turn me on. Was that Atomic Kitten? Football's coming home. Oh, that's again. why he knows it. That's why he knows right, it. They, they yeah. reimagined it. Was that Atomic it? Kitten? Atomic Kitten. I'm not being glib. I honestly thought that was like hearsay. <laughs> No. I thought that was Boyzone. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's not get it. Atomic Kitten would make a great name for a pilotable mecha robot. Yes. By the way. Yeah. That is pretty good. Yeah. I must climb into my Atomic Kitten. My, my issue with Atomic Kitten as a band now is that when I try to think I don't of... Think they're around. When I try to think... They're not going to come for me. <laughs> when I try to think of Atomic Kitten and, 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 and my brain starts going like, oh, we got the Sugar Babes over here. And they mm. both were teams of three that had many replacement members. Mm. And I just can't escape the image of like a middle-aged Kerry Katona Talking about why mums go to Iceland with like little sausage rolls. Yeah, and I, so my original lineup. If I, I literally, I'm trying to picture a Tommy Kitten right now, and I've got two generic early 2000s girls yeah. and Kerry and Katona. Katona, <laughs> Katona yeah. But Kerry Katona aged like 48. Yeah, pimping Iceland. Pimping, yeah. yeah, she's got like a, a <laughs> Hello. Hello. Have a look at me, prawn skewers. <laughs> I got Scotch eggs up the wazoo. <laughs> Carbonated dipping jam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Good. There you go. Get it. Great. That well, went we... off on a tangent. As it always does. That's... So, but just to tie a bow on it. Oh, all right then. Atomic Kit. Uh, no, no, wait. Fuck. Um, what go- we... uh, no, Jesus. The be- fuck. Who are the, the Beatles? Be- no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Beatles. <laughs> Who are the ones with the big pants? I think that was All Saints. All but Saints. I think okay. Kitten were a bit okay. So just like let's try just try and paint a visual image for anyone listening who has no idea who All Saints are. What did they look like? What? Three white girls. <laughs> three white girls. I think. Yeah. Um, I no, think... All Saints were four. Fuck me. There okay. were three white girls no, and one and one black, black girl. girl. Yeah. What, and the three white girls were uh, uh, Tommy Kitten. The Appleton Kitten. sisters. No, we're talking about All Saints. Who are the Appleton sisters? Are they in All Saints? They're in All Saints. Saints. But All Saints. Tommy Kitten was three white girls. Literally, they were all interchangeable apart from All Saints who wore trousers, which were very baggy, baggy. low riding, off the hip, khaki esque, yeah. combatty. And they're coming back. And they're coming back. Not all Saints. And you see girls wearing them downtown now. And they're very, it's very nostalgic, very flashback to 90s yeah, energy. It is weird. And I, that's all I had to say about it, really. But we got onto girl bands because of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy look. It's kind of a uniform. Yes. If you ask me. Yeah. It's the girl band uniform. And you didn't ask me, so that's cool. There you go. I've got a hate. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going right, to. I'm doing this. Yeah. Climb here we go. into my atomic kitten. I've got a hate. I, oh. I hate. I hate. <laughs> Long-running, borderline Victorian brands suddenly trying to be relevant, with yeah. one notable example. Okay. What is the example? Well, do you know me? You know I like I do know plain me. food. Black coffee. A platonic scone. I like black coffee. If you gave me a dry scone right now, I would fucking destroy it. That's right. not a joke. And you've, and you've eaten your dinner. I've eaten my dinner. Yeah, yeah so I have. No. That sounds very claggy. I <laughs> Claggy, claggy the better, my friend. Yeah. I'm not sure it is, but I, okay. Yeah. So you'd be I, eating that for hours. I also, another thing I love, I love fruitcake. 
Yeah. You do. Big, big fan a of dry, that. dry, don't want any of that. Quite a dry, cream. no, God, no, I want no, a fruit, seriously, I want no. A like, yeah. that's been cooked yeah. for as long as the carrots are boiled. <laughs> every every, Chris, day, every Christmas months. now, I get a Christmas cake from my parents and I get a Christmas cake from my sister-in-law and they know that nobody else in my household <laughs> likes, so that's just for me. Yeah. <laughs> so dry. And you, no, that's the thing, it comes with a lot of icing and I go, quite a lot of the icing, but I'm going to eat that first so that I can get Peel to it all off. the core like you eat the icing first. Yeah, I mean, with, a, with like the thin <laughs> layer, a thin layer of fruit. Like I, I'm very careful where I do my fork. The best thing about yeah, those fruit yeah. cakes is marzipan. That's the best bit. Uh, and then second, icing. Interesting. And then third, quite low down, <laughs> is the cake itself. It's interesting. The, it's the yeah. fruit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I lo- I love anything with raisins in. Love a kind of fruity, dry Victorian kind mm. of snack. <laughs> Are you familiar with serene? No. Oh well, I call it saurine, but yes. Saurine, yeah. Yes, I, I am familiar. To... Oh, is that that yeah. like malt loaf? Yeah, I do oh, quite I do like know. that actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, now for anyone now. listening, like saurine, saurine, like do- like Doreen, saurine, or Maureen, saurine, saurine. Now with raisins. Now with raisins. Yeah. Okay, so serene. Yeah. Saurine. Serene. It's like a soup terrine. Saurine. It's like, so, a, it's, so, like, it's like a cake. Mm. It's a cake. It's a cake. Right. It's, fucking it's, cake. it's like a lot more moist than a than a fruit cake. Mm. I think. Well, there are some moist cakes out there. Uh, yeah, you've got to feed it oh. with sherry oh, no. over oh, like so an yeah. eight month period. Boozy. Yeah. Okay. Now, but like serene, it's like a kind of there is fruit in it. There is. Yeah, okay, but it's like a it's malty, right? Light brown. Mm. Uh, fruity loaf, mass produced, has been made. One would imagine since like 1868. Uh, yeah, coming out of the mold factory. <laughs> it's boring as hell. Yeah, <laughs> the kind of thing I would love. Yeah, the kind of thing I would love. Like, yeah, I would have you, thought you'd love it. Like, uh, I had a colleague back when I had a proper job, real job, who was like a professional. Serene. When he mm. professional serene, he was a serene. <laughs> yeah, he was the serene boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me, John. The Serene sounds kind of like the uh, um, sort of Arabian palace guard that would defend the Prince of Persia. Like, my Serene, come to me. Mm. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, my point is, but he was, <laughs> when he wasn't doing marketing, he was like a semi professional triathlon runner. Oh. And he'd eat Serene in, in quite, like me, like quite a utilitarian I've really way. i you off on the pronunciation here, haven't I? Serene. <laughs> yeah. He'd eat the serene in like. Serene. Serene. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it is serene. It is, that is serene, cuz. Well, let's come back to that. Oh. So, my point is. Oh, no. He's like. I've predicted the marketing. Yeah. But he'd eat like. We joked about how he'd eat like a meal which was like dry, not dry pasta, but he'd have like pasta, but with like no, no sauce. sauce. Yeah. Mm. And he'd eat like serene. Like, these are like platonic foods, like yes. kind of boring ass foods. They but, could survive a nuclear But blast. he's like, yeah. my body's a machine. I need fuel. Sure. And I'm like. Yeah, my Sounds body's fucking boring. Doesn't yeah, it? and I'm like, well, my body's a machine, not a useful one. No. But I'm like you, I, li- I like eating like this kind <laughs> it's of. It's like a car without an engine. Yeah, that kind yeah. of. Yeah, my right. body's a machine, but it just really likes food that tastes really good. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, we're all machines. We're like some of some of us are like you know, just some of us are real machines. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us pretend but, machines. But I'm like, I respect I like you. One of them old tumble dryers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Food just tumbles around inside. Yeah, you. <laughs> this is like a dry fruit loaf. I kind of just bouncing yeah. about his just, idea. Just jump around the room unwillingly. Anyway, my point is. He ate it, and I saw him eating a serene, and I'm like, mm. I respect you even more, because I'm like, that's 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 yeah. a utilitarian, boring food. Yeah. Right. And it's just... Is that healthy? Well, it's not, I don't not think healthy. don't that healthy. Yeah. yeah. If yeah, you were like... a lot of sugar If you that. were like... like boring food doesn't mean it's good for you. Yeah. That's true. But, but, like, for example, when they're doing Arctic expeditions, yeah. like, oh, I'm not good with calories, but, like, on an average day, like, you know, an average man needs, like, 2,000... 500, I think. Something, whatever. Yeah. But if you're in the Arctic, where... God and nature are trying to kill you constantly. Mm. You need like ten thousand oh, sure. just to stay alive. Yeah. yeah. So they're like, how do you physically get? Unless you're <laughs> eating like a roast dinner every half hour, <laughs> how do you and walking? How do you get that food? <laughs> Lambus bread. So they'll make yeah, like right. these like super bars where they just melt like a bar of of but, butter, add like oh a, a bag of sugar, add like a handful of like nuts, and then right. they just condense Holy it. And you just get like this stick of. Glob of whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like hyper I feel that's kind of like what serene is. Like it's not pretty. No, mm. it just it gets just, the job done. Though. And I and I I liked to believe in my foolish heart that certain products in the world yeah. are not fun. They're not cool. They're not marketable. <laughs> but they will always be there. Yeah, because like, because we need them. Even the fact that it's called serene. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, I don't know what it means. It's not called like malt blast or like you know. <laughs> 
yeah. uh, a, f- a fruit packet. It's not called yeah. anything like that, you yeah. know. Yeah, radical yeah. raisin loaf. Yeah, ro- oh. turbo loaf. Yeah, turbo, turbo yeah, loaf. Exactly, yeah. There you go. If I need turbo loaf right now. If it had been invented... Yeah. In like the eighties, it yeah. probably would have been called like turbo loaf. Give me a yeah. turbo loaf or Vita loaf. Mum, can I have another turbo loaf, please? Oh, and when you finish your current turbo loaf, <laughs> <laughs> but I want the other one. I want the new turbo I want, loaf. I want the new like iron brew flavored yeah. t- I want turbo loaf. <laughs> freeze frame turbo loaf. Always buy two. <laughs> <laughs> Always buy two. <laughs> buy, 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 buy another. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just a freeze frame of like a pallet loaded with turbo loaves. <laughs> Always buy two. Always buy two. <laughs> <laughs> Have we just solved marketing? <laughs> Always buy two is such a good tagline. Uh, like create a scenario. With a question mark as well. create, create a fictional <laughs> scenario Always where you just a proposal. It's just a proposal to them. Always buy Always two. Always buy two. Because <laughs> then you can't be accused of telling people no, to buy two. It's up to them. Yeah. It's up to them. Them. But it instills doubt as well. <laughs> so they're like, them. I wasn't sold on this idea, but maybe I should buy a second. I wasn't going to buy any, but now I'm going to buy three. <laughs> I probably should buy. I should probably have a backup, right? Yeah. You need a backup turbo loaf. Always have a backup yeah. turbo loaf. Yeah. Anyway, my point is, I liked, I found it kind of appealing <laughs> that, like, in, in an industry where everybody was racing to the top, there would just be some products yeah. which would never change. Would like all, sun-made raisins. Yeah, would just always be there. Yeah, no, that's a classic example. Like, that little red box of, like, six raisins. Maybe less. <laughs> yeah, maybe less, you know. And it's like, that's... They've got, the, they've got the the woman on them. Yes. Yeah. He's like picking the, the, yeah. in the background. So I feel serene is the is the is the key example of this where it's like it hasn't changed mm. in forever, a thousand years. And with serene, which is called fucking serene, which is a nothing word. How is how are we spelling this? S O R E E N. Oh, well, that's the boring, most boring spelling yeah. as well. So my point is, it's so boring. You could spell it like the word serene, couldn't you? Serene. Yes. Or like, oh, yeah. like, it's like serene. a moment that'd be, of calm. That'd be good. Yeah. Now, I feel that's what a modern marketer would have done. I've, I've overthought yeah. it. But my point is, there was no need to market serene. No. Because it's existed, I believe, since the Victorian period. Maybe since the Big Bang. Maybe since the Big Bang. <laughs> you know. It's actually neutron star material. Yeah. That's why it's so dense. Be- before the Earth, there was <laughs> serene. Before there was, the Earth. There was only serene. <laughs> was only serene. <laughs> Dark matter, you used to call it. Yeah. We call it serene. <laughs> always, always bring two. <laughs> always, always, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, maybe buy two. <laughs> always create two. <laughs> Anyway, my point is... Yes, what is your point? You keep Imagine my surprise. <laughs> oh. Serene's back. Oh. I don't think it went anywhere. No, no, that's my point. No, no, but it never arrived. You know my point where it's like... It's it, never existed. It was it's always, never been in it the was always, always there. there. It was always there. Yeah, it was never created. It's always been there. It was load-bearing. It's, it's always yeah. in the background. Yeah. And I know, like, like the Earth's crust. Yeah. Serene. Serene. Holding yeah. up yeah. our greatest minds. Yeah. Serene. Serene, yeah. My point is, just be happy with what you have. Because yeah. you've gone... 84 years without advertising the damn thing. Yeah. And clearly that was fine. Clearly so what that you're saying they is they've started, they started advertising. They've started advertising. This is weird because you see this happen. And I think yeah. this is your point. <laughs> but it's like you see this happen from time to time. Where it's like a product has been doing fine. Clearly yeah. it's been doing fine because yeah. it's never been advertised. And you see it in the supermarket every fucking day. Yeah. So it's clearly fine. Yeah. And then one day they start an ad campaign for it. And you're like... What happened to you, Soreen? Yeah. yeah, you changed. Did Why you, did you do this? Did you start losing money for you Hasbro? You sold out, Soreen. I bet Hasbro owns Soreen. But also, like... They Who's their target them? market? Well, this is a fuck, old. The fucked up thing. You. No, no. I so, want to go ahead and say it's you, John. Yeah, no, this is my point. It's like, are you boring or old? I'll be like, do you... <laughs> Soreen's for you. Yeah, it's always here. Yeah. Maybe, maybe by so two. So who, who is the new ad targeting? <laughs> The youth. <gasps> no. Like the youth. Youth, yeah. youth is armed by No, this is my point. Serene. This Victorian cake, which is probably <laughs> yeah. baked in like a copper urn. You know, how are they, how are they marketing it though? Are they going, hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, kids. <laughs> Why do you sound like that? <laughs> hey, no, <it's> like, <laughs> hey, kids. I'm a goblin. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, sh- I'm shitting out my serene. Man, I got... <laughs> Freeze frame. Yeah, Maybe my two. Kids. Oh, oh no, I've got no energy, and the big skateboard competition to save the youth centre is in five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa! It's ser- Whoa who's kids. that? It's Serene Dog. Yeah. Please note: health and safety. One Serene will cause constipation. Two <laughs> yeah. Serenes will cause laxative effect. <laughs> <laughs> by two. <laughs> by two. Always, always by two. <laughs> um, but it's like 
you know. And they've got a, a charming northern person. Oh, there's always, always, always the a accent. Person. Hello. And it's like, do, you, do, you remember, do you remember when you were a, a wean lad? Oh, no, it's worse. Sunrise over a yeah. cottage. It's like, and I, it's like they're, a, they're a company which is 400 years old, and they're now, now, in the year 2024, decide to advertise this, this Victorian haunted dream of a product. And they're like, but we're going to use the advertising techniques of the mid-90s. Mm. <laughs> So he's a kid who's like fucking Dennis for Menace, <laughs> running through in his back running pocket. through a schoolyard. And it's like, well, you've had a busy day of learning about stuff. Maybe stuff. a maybe a serene fun bar is what you oh, need to keep your serene energy fun bar. And now serene comes in bars, pocket size serene. It's got a little wrapper. Wait, I'm going. Yeah, let's okay. go. Where's my fucking serene? <laughs> where's, my, where's my serene fun bar? Why, gonna... we, why are we wasting our no, fucking? Get out of my way! Room. Get out of my way! <laughs> Kick down the fucking quickie bar doors. I want my serene fun bar. I think they go straight. <laughs> and then they have a kid who they have somehow convinced to put down the fucking TikTok and put on like, like I don't know, like get his leather satchel out because he's on his way to lessons. Yeah. Sit down on like a park bench, reach into his bag, and bring out a fucking yellow wrapper of a serene fun bar. Yeah. And and this voice is like, it's a squidgy, gooey, funny, fun, fun, tasty <laughs> slab of goodness. I bet that's exactly <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, guess who wrote that ad? Funny, Not funny. a young person. <laughs> yes. Pro- probably the yes. MD. A hundred percent. It is the it is the most old, <laughs> old. Old, old, old person, yeah. just the oldest, oldest milk view. toast. That, that's, <laughs> milk that's, toast someone, you... that's someone at the top of that organization telling people what to do. Yeah, and it's like my well, they, they're going green. Cool. My dudes, you survive a fucking Boer War. Yeah, and the Blitz. <laughs> and the Blitz, you know. And it's like, and now, the Renaissance period. And now you're advertising it. Why? I like the idea that maybe a Saurine fun bar comes with like temporary tattoos. <laughs> and it's got like a skull. Yeah. But like with a fun bar sticking out of its mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a raisin tattoo. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get a raisin on my arm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Raisins. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, kids. I, I, the fact, whoa. By, by the way, the irony that we're doing this. Isn't lost on me because we're we're doing it in a way that we feel is ironic, but it's probably not that far it's from the truth. Far, or really? what we'd actually do. Because if you were like, because the problem is we, <laughs> we we've all touched this world and we're all just picturing the worst meeting in the world where people decided how to advertise this oh, fucking Napoleonic food substance, yeah. <laughs> which is just still with us for some reason. And It'll they're like, die. how do we make it relevant? Why don't we have a serene gang? You know, Ricky Raisin. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Je- uh, and, and the girl. <laughs> and... <laughs> Ricky Raisin and the girl. Ricky Raisin, Steve Cake and the girl. <laughs> Look, kids, it's Craig Constipation. But next to him, Lawrence Laxative. Or it's my suit. <laughs> Craig, Craig and Lawrence are never just, apart. They, they're inseparable. They are inseparable. Like, like, Steve Cake. Steve Cake. <laughs> Randy Raisin. Oh, Steve no. Cake. It's for Mole Brothers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's the chocolate squad because chocolate's not cool anymore. Yeah. Soreen's cool. Yeah. Hey, we're the chocolate squad. We're the bullies of this fictional food school for some reason. Hey, we're going to wear your teeth away over a long period of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but only if you eat us. And here's the Soda Brothers. It's it's Coke Zero <laughs> and Pepsi Max. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, they're being bullied by chocolate, sugar, yes. and soda. Yeah. And then it's like coming out of the corner. It's like Steve Cake. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sugar may seem fun in the moment, but malt is a different kind of sucrose, and it burns longer. <laughs> and then he just gets punched. <laughs> oh no! Steve cake, King. freeze frame. <laughs> Kings, help me! Uh, help me! Bye, two. Don't be, <laughs> don't be like Steve Cake, everyone. Wait, I thought we liked him. Why I, don't, don't, I don't know. We've lost our way. <laughs> this narrative's gone away from us. <laughs> I thought he was the mascot. No, no, no. Yeah. He's the fall guy. No, he's, we need yeah. a, every ad campaign needs a fall guy. Yeah. This is animated. Why is this happening live? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a stream of consciousness. Uh. <laughs> Steve Cake. Steve Cake. Steve, Steve Cake and the girl. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, do, oh, are we about to root for Steve Cake? Are we Cake? pro Steve Cake? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. I'm so confused. Steve Cake is the hero of the piece. But he is very <laughs> racist. <laughs> But he is very racist, and I can't emphasize this enough. Close to death. 
<laughs> he's climbing on. <laughs> it's all right, he's King. eating too much sorry. <laughs> it's all right, King. Steve Cake can't hurt you now. <laughs> Locked away in the cartoon realm. Uh, <laughs> uh, you should buy some serene fun bars. Mm, yeah, I'd like to try this. Actually, yeah. I think the advertising. I mean, you, you've done a good job on me, John, because I kind of <laughs> want one. Now. I'd like fucking kill for a serene yeah. fun bar. <laughs> I would step over <laughs> everyone here's grandmother just to love, get one. I also love that they're like, now, we've never advertised this thing. Mm. We oversaw the Reformation. We yeah. survived, uh, you know, the uh, we survived Cromwell. And yeah. now we're going to advertise the t- Now's this our fun. time. Now. What if we made our products a bit more engaging to the youth? No. <laughs> we cannot change the core products. Okay, what if we just cut it into small slices of it, individually wrapped them, and called it a fun bar? Yeah. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. genius. No one's ever done yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, we, we could we cover they it in chocolate? They everywhere, those fun bars. Not for Serene, necessarily, but like Jaffa Cakes did one. Yeah, every... Yeah. Cake bars. Cake, cake bars. bars. Every yeah. fucking cake brand made a cake bar to go yeah. on a lunchbox. Yeah. And, now that, and they died out. And now Serene are thinking, hey, hey, hey the market's brand new now. thinking. Hey, yeah. this was relevant 30 years ago. Yeah. Which mm. kind of sounds like their ad campaign yeah. as well. I can't imagine the executives of Serena like kind of just these <laughs> desiccated husks in a room. <laughs> They're kept... all sat on five golden thrones of Serena. Of Serena. <laughs> kept alive by proximity to Serena. Well, the, whole, the whole building is just Serena. It's the sturdiest building in the yeah. country. Yeah. <laughs> Can stop magma. That, literally, literally, yeah, literally. Yeah, it could be an apocalypse and this building would still be standing. It would, the, the Serene Palace. Yeah. They gave the tour to like the head of a marketing agency. And they're like, and this is the uh, most, uh, most uh, sturdy building in the country. Huh, that's very funny. I'm, what do you mean, do you mean I'm, funny? I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> Bring in the bulldozers. <laughs> Good luck. They just, they just, they just crumble. Just the bounce off of it, yeah. <laughs> Doing. Our cake is very dense. <laughs> hey, kids, do you want the energy to compete in that big tennis tournament? But then kind of feel like really tired after like the first <laughs> serve and just want to lie down. <laughs> Maybe you should have a serene fun bar. Uh... <laughs> Man, it's so hot today. How are we going to win this swimming gala? Why do we eat a fucking fruit cake? Uh, oh, Sick. I, I, I don't know, Steve. <laughs> Steve Cake, fuck off. Uh, I'm Steve Cake. I made it into the real world. Hi, I'm Steve Cake. I'm back from the dead. I'm in the meat plane. Watch out for me. <laughs> Fun bars for all. Oh, I just had a fun bar, Steve, and I kind of feel pregnant. Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> eat, eat, eat your second cake bar immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Steve, I'll, I'll get it out of you. Oh, Steve, the, the front crawl, the front, the fifty meters front crawl race starts in like two seconds, but I feel really like sleepy, and sweaty, and I think I'm dying, Steve. Like, what's That's that right. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up, freeze frame. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Cake says, sorry, by two. Or always by two. <laughs> I love the idea of a brand. You just say the brand and then just say by two. After. <laughs> I just think that's <laughs> fucking amazing. Sorry, by two. <laughs> uh... I like, why not? You know, like you may as well. It's both. Why not from a marketing perspective? You may as well say it'll work on some people. And, and then some people will buy two. Why, why not? Buy yeah. this is, I think we've solved marketing. <laughs> I think we might have. Nobody's had the courage to do this. This is the boldest, cleverest, smartest thing I and think anyone's to, ever said. It applies to any. It does. It applies to any brand. Yeah. It's so good. Buy two. Always buy two. Always buy two. <laughs> Always buy two. Uh, anyway, that's my. Anyway. That's great. Yeah. Good. God damn it, Serene. <laughs> that's a fun bar. Um, well, I've got to hate. Um, we always try to keep it light here on Oh, hey, God, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And, and I, I open another beer. I always like to think that, we, you know, the hates that we bring, oh. they're never like, we're never really that angry. You know, they, they're yeah. always just, oh, it's what grinds my gears. Yes. You know. Oh, in a comical way, I'm a bit vexed by. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> here we go. However. But, however. But fuck AI art. Oh. Like, fuck AI this art. This has been coming. I Get know it has. It's been brewing. Get off the fence, Nick. Get what off you, the fence. What do you, what you, you really what think you about really AI think? art? Obviously, this isn't new. No. No, it's been it's been a thing for a little while. Now, what does AI stand for? AI stands for... Ah. Ah. E. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel. That's all good, yeah. Yes. Awesome, inclusive. Yeah. That's what it stands for. Yeah. Yeah. Ack. Yeah. Ack. Ack. I don't. I've got like, nothing. I've got oh, nothing. Sure, yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not. It's not new. Oh, bless you. Thank you. But they just released this new one, which oh, yeah. can do video. Oh, great. Yeah. So now. So now. So who is they? Well, there's a few different companies. Bastards. Uh, the, a the nebulous big... group of assholes. Like yeah. yeah. Te- tech bros. Yeah. Predominantly, but the big company, the big name is OpenAI. 
right. who I think are called that because they make AI stuff. I, I don't see. know for sure. Yeah. Um, and they, they've they made this latest product called Sora. Oh, yeah. Serene. Sorry. <laughs> so, no, no. It can draw anything you want, but it's made of fruitcake. <laughs> Ser- Serene is becoming too powerful. It no, will Serene, shut it back. down. It can't be shut down. I'm just the computer the... system is made purely of Serene. I'm enter the prompt. Make me a sexy Serene wife. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, um, sorry, yeah. yeah. So Sora, not Serene. Not Serene. Um, is, a video, is a video AI. So you can I write see. a prompt like... Um, uh, a, 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 a couple, a, a loving couple, mm. walk down a street in the rain, oh, for example. Yeah. yeah, and then it will generate a short video clip mm. uh, of of said couple under an umbrella. Well, they, they don't exist, and they do not exist. This has never been filmed, but it looks exactly like a photo real scene. Oh God! Right, um, and this is quite a breakthrough because the problem with AI video before, yeah, was that they couldn't eat spaghetti. They, well, that's it exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, they, have this seen was, that. I think we actually may have talked about this. I think on so the, on the pod, but basically, yeah, didn't really understand. Eating Eating, mm. which is kind of horrifying but also it didn't really understand like the way film works obviously is like you go still frame to still frame to still frame yes and he didn't really understand that things had to remain consistent from one frame to the next so yeah. everything changed mm. because it it didn't understand reality it's not actually intelligent it's not it's not smart yes. it's just trying to learn from other things and yeah. badly um but this new model mm. is radical because oh. because it can so the things in the background stay like consistent from I frame see. to frame, from minute to minute, from hour to hour, right? Yeah. Um. So everyone, everyone is like, it's going to change the fucking world. But I think so. They, what they just make this publicly available? That well, it isn't yet, but oh. it will be because every other t- every other product they've released has started out like locked away, but you know, so that They're building you know, interest, exactly building hype, you mm. know, withholding it so that people yes. get excited, and then eventually they release it to the world, and everyone goes fucking mental because yeah. they can make anything they want, and they don't even need to go to the cinema what's, anymore. Yeah. What's the point of anything? What's the point of anything? They That's a great the, question. They'll make their right? own. They'll make their own Marvel movies. Yeah, you could. You yeah, you could... did. You kind of skipped to the end of the entire debate. Oh, right. Why do anything? Why do anything? But I'm kind of glad yeah. you did. Yeah. Because yeah. if anything, that proves how quickly it's possible to understand the fucking flaw in this whole thing. Yes. Is why do anything? Why do anything? Why, why ever yeah. devote yourself to any sort of craft mm. ever again? And and of course, the biggest and the thing that makes me most angry is by all means, right? There's there's one application of AI, mm. which is in a medical environment. I see. Right, so they had to rewire someone's spine back together, oh. right? And their spine got severed, and the, uh, you're inside your spinal column, there's just like a spaghetti of tiny I nerves, see. right? And they had to essentially <clears throat> fuse all of these nerves back mm. together. Um, but the process would have taken potentially hours to just uh, years even yeah. to try and work out how to match which these, ones which. these bits together. Yeah. So they used an AI system to sort of gradually work through all the potential mm. operations and it did it in a fraction of the time that a human could have done it. And this person is now walking again. Oh. It's incredible, right? Brilliant application oh, yes. sure, of, yeah. of, a, of, a, of, a, yeah. of a sort of intelligent, semi-intelligent sort of learning model, right? Yes. Why would you go after art? Why would you go after people who can do those things? Because if that the difference there is, it seems to me, yeah, as an outsider looking in, that's something a human could never do, mm. Mm. and that's why it's mm. on that's a really good point. Humans, whereas humans do these th- like the movies and the art, like, and the, like the movies, if you will, or the poems. People do those things. People do that, and not only do Very people do those things. Not only do people do those things, and yes, we've commodi- commoditized those things, so people mm. can buy a poem and people can buy an art, right? I get yes. it. But the bottom line is, it's, those are the things we do when we don't work. Those yeah. are the things we consume. Those are the things we enjoy. And we enjoy them because another human made them, yes. right? So if you d- write a poem, and I can imagine you'd write a beautiful poem. A lovely poem. I would read that poem, and not only would I go, such beautiful words. Yes. Yeah. Such powerful imagery. An incredible metaphor yes. for grief. Not only would I think all of those things, but I'd also, I'd, I'd have learned something from another human person, yes. right? From you and your experience and your life would have informed that poem and that would have communicated something to me. And is there anything more central to the human experience than us f- learning from one another and communicating those feelings to one another? There once was a man from Nantucket. Here we go. Who, and let's just say that stories about him were greatly exaggerated. Yeah. <laughs> Poems don't have to rhyme, kids. Get a big yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, great big cock. A really yeah. big dick. Well, yeah. yeah. And button balls as well. They were really yeah. big. Dick button balls. Dick button balls. Big three. I could write a video. I could go on an AI and I could say you could go on an AI. Make me a video of uh, Chris Ray showing his dick button balls in public. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. And it, look, and it would look really real, except it would maybe be Why would wrong. you do an AI of a video you've already got? <laughs> good. That's, that's, good. That was a good joke. That's the joke. Right, add that yeah. to the joke yeah, register. Yeah. yeah, we haven't added anything to that no. recently. That was better than the previous Camouflage. Joke. I, it's funny how, like, any... Pro- most projects involve a lot of people. Like, oh, you know, sure. be it, say... 
coming up with an award nominated oh. uh, website. You no, know, didn't Chris, win. Chris Ray over here didn't, didn't win, didn't win but that's fine. Didn't win. Yeah. Uh, or, or making a movie or even a book. Like a ton, mm. ton of people are involved in that. Oh, sure. And it's interesting that like the moment AI became commercially available, the first people to get kind of like pushed under the digital bus <laughs> were the ISKs. And yeah. everyone was like, well, we don't fucking need the ISKs. And it's like, you fool. You don't realize. It's that the director going, oh, we don't need ISKs. It's like, mm. yeah, well, my friend, you probably don't need, uh, uh, you know, uh, directors of photography. Yeah. You probably don't need an editor. You probably don't need a director. You don't need a writer. Yeah. Actually, we don't Why need do an audience. Need... Why, do we need you Why are we doing anything? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Pretty like one of these movies that's made with this yeah this eventually will be in a cinema i mean i think we in the next five years mm. and i hate that i'm saying this because i sound like the kind of tech bro who's advocating for it sure but i'm gonna say it anyway because unfortunately i think it might be true i think we're going to live through a period of time mm. where we see the first ai written movie yes and then potentially the first movie generated entirely yeah. in ai that's good audio Sorry, um, um, fizz. I apologize. I apologize. For Are you the open noise. the? Do you open the one with the dent? Yeah. No. Um. I. I just experienced a complete rectal failure. Yes. <laughs> it was not live he on air. Have any cans? Yeah. No. That. Yeah. Also, animation. Right. Mm. You can just tell the AI to make me a film, but make it in a Pixar style. Sure. Yeah. And then, and then it looks like it's been animated and three D rendered and all that shit. Yeah. But it's just generated it's frame so by frame. So short sight. But if a studio goes, why do we have to pay? Actors, and animators. writers, animators, artists, when I can just type into a computer, make me a heartwarming 90-minute movie about an animated dog, yeah. and then I'll sell it to the public. But because yeah. they didn't even make the fucking software, why would... Why would I buy that Why movie? would Joe Public sitting at home go, why am I going to pay for this shit when I could get the same software and just go... And just make it myself. I couldn't, you, bought... yeah, couldn't you just, like replicate it yes yeah literally I'm... or the bits you didn't like yeah so you watch a movie and you're like oh i like that movie but i didn't like the ending yeah hey yeah but here's a funny thing, hey right? do your own ending so let's let's play that scenario out. yeah oh i watched a whole movie didn't like scene four and scene 19 sure so i'm gonna feed that back into an ai i'm gonna change yeah. scene four to what i want it to do be. this movie but change and then this i'm gonna change scene 19 to the thing i want to be yeah then what you're gonna watch it yeah because you know what happens yeah. yeah. What was the point of any of this? Make Who is me, any of this for? It's Thursday night. I'm at home and I'm bored. Oh, I'm bored. Computer, make me a thrilling sci-fi adventure mm. where in Act 1 they meet a lovable rogue and in Act 3 they end up blowing up some kind of big spherical space station. <laughs> oh, uh, and, every, doing that. and everybody wields swords made of light. Yeah. yeah. And um, make it so it's directed by a guy who... Uh, had, direct. wasn't couldn't direct and it had to be saved by his ex-wife in editing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and yeah, but what if what if you said something like, "Make me a thrilling sci-fi adventure." Yes. But in Act Three, give me a betrayal. Mm. Oh, it's like, <laughs> like oh, then, oh, oh, said, oh, 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 I didn't see that, that coming. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah. oh. go, what if you were like, make me? I mean, we're saying like, make me a thrilling adventure, make me an exciting mm. adventure. Mm. What if you were like? Maybe an average adventure. Maybe a kind of a slightly boring. A adventure. mediocre yeah. move. Bring me a mediocre movie. Yeah, maybe but a movie that I don't thought, have to pay attention to. Yeah. A lot of people will think, oh, I can use the prompts mm. to make a movie and then I can sell that movie to other people. That's what yes. people think they can do. Yes. No one actually is thinking about using AI for themselves. And the reason they're not thinking that is because they're not artists, right? Mm. Artists, genuinely creative people, gain pleasure out of creating oh, sure. the things that they do through the work that they've done. And then they gain a secondary amount of pleasure when they, they show it to other people mm. and they impart the feelings that they tried to embody in the thing and they and they try and communicate those feelings to someone else. That's the yes. two stages of being creative, right? Mm. Because non fundamentally non-creative people are excited about using this technology. Yeah. They they are only thinking about commerce only. They're thinking, oh my god, I can streamline X kind yes. of art oh, yeah. without having to pay any artists to make it, and then I can sell it, and the profits are all mine, mm. right? But the, the, the crazy thing is, is like, imagine imagine making a movie using AI, and then sitting down to watch it yourself. Yes, yeah. like you'd <laughs> have no enjoyment out of that yeah. at all. Yeah. Like, I, I can't put this into words, how fundamentally broken and, and how fundamentally everyone who's pro, like promoting AI art is just massively missing the point. Mm -hmm. And and like you will you will create something. Well, you haven't created it for stars. You wrote a prompt and it did most of the work and then it will make something 
and you'll sit down and you'll start to watch it and I guarantee you'll get bored. Oh, yeah. yeah. At your own thing. Yeah. Your own, I put that in inverted your, your own thing. Because thing. Thing. people don't, surely that's the whole point of art. Is or that going people, to the movies, for example. Yeah, yeah, like movies as an example, people want and pay to not be in control. Yes. They pay to be, to be given something that another person made and you don't know where it's going to take you. And yeah. maybe you love it or you hate it. But like, at least you want to feel something. Yeah, you just got swept up in something for a minute. And the thing know. is, if you know that it was made just as an aggregation of a thousand other ideas that came before it, how could you possibly ever be excited by that? Mm. Yeah. And and this is why I think it may be a fad and it may be a bubble because we will reach a point, the singularity, as it were, yeah, where it's everywhere and everyone realizes how fundamentally soulless it is. Oh yeah. And then it will die. And I really hope that does happen. But yeah. my biggest fear, and it's something I've talked to you about a lot, is that we as a, as a sort of a media consuming culture mm. have gotten to the point where we're very accepting of average. We will, oh, yeah. we will accept things that are fundamentally a bit shit. Mm. And, and that's what AI specializes in. Because it doesn't have a soul. It doesn't have a vision. It doesn't have a human mind. It aggregates at best. That's all it yeah. can do. So it will make something pretty fucking average. Yeah. But what if that's enough? And that's the really scary oh, it, thing. Yeah, it might be. It might be enough. Imagine if we get to a scenario where like, it's, it's a USP for a film is that someone wrote it. Uh, yeah, we get back on the other side. Yeah, filmed it with that's a camera. mad. It might be, yeah. And, and, and people are like, like, this was filmed on a camera. Oh, how delightful. By a retro. man. Yeah. The, um, I mean, like an example would be, I've spent 10 years working on my comic book series, oh, sure. Astle, I think, you know. Yes. In that time, I've Jack produced... Fortune was a con artist <laughs> who, uh, after his untimely demise, proceeded to um, take over the afterlife and run it like a business. It's not bad. Not bad. That's Good right. save. It's close enough. It's close yeah, enough. okay. I still sell the same amount of books. No, I, I've spent... <laughs> I spent 10 years working on this series. In that time, we've made six volumes, one crossover, two hardback collected editions. Mm. So, like... So they, where are they available? To, if uh, I wanted to purchase on them, the Big Punch God. Studios website, oh, uh, okay. bigpunchstudios.com. Uh, Lovely, great, good. Uh, I expect they're reasonably priced. They're not bad. Yeah, we have. You are fully licensed by the state, aren't you, John? <laughs> we we certainly have US shipping, and we're that, and we're <laughs> that approved. Um, but no, but my point is, I was you know for the ten year anniversary, look back on my work done, and it's like I collected over eight hundred pages, mm. and some people would look at that and go, "What a great output!" Yeah, and I'm looking at that going like, "Man." Could have produced more if it wasn't the time that went into it, the yes. money I had to scrounge together. You know, I'm thinking you can always do better. And I'm working on volume seven, mm. and I've got, I want to do nine volumes in total. I know oh, I've got at least it's... five years more work on this. Oof. And it's what like, happens then? What happens after Then nine? I finally, Retire. I finally rest. I can rest. Yeah, but my point is if someone said, What here's... happens at the end? But here's a magic button. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Tell me, you tell me after. Fine, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, you, you'll tell find me, out. Yeah. Tell me after. The point is, if if there was a magic button right now that said, you could just end it now. <laughs> like literally, you could press this button. Fucking hell! And you could press and it this would button. Would auto generate the three remaining volumes. Yeah, and it would just it would from read the content you've made. You're an idiot to put ten years of work into it. You, you fool. You fucking idiot. But it would just it would it would invalidate all the work you've done before, and it would deliver all the work that's yet to be done. Yeah. I would still say no. Yeah. Because otherwise, well, good. What, because otherwise, what is the fucking point? Like, yeah. Why am I here? I mean, you a know. good example, like a very basic example for why is because John's probably got an idea of how it ends. I hope mm. he does anyway. I don't, I don't know for sure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. And then, shit. Even if it did a really good job, it probably wouldn't be the idea that you had. Yeah. No. yeah true. So it's like, so, so what is the point then? Like, because that's not after, I think. Mm. Like, it might be really good. And your idea might be just as good. But any tech bro would look at me and go, you're an idiot. Yes. You're an idiot to have devoted time to something you cared about. Because I could, before my morning coffee, yes. use an AI to come up with 15 incredible ideas. And here's the fundamental yeah. flaw in everything they're thinking. They're thinking only about speed. And they're only thinking yeah. about the time saved. I don't want to save time. I want to spend all of that time working on something I can be proud of and that I love and that I think is awesome. Mm. I actually want to spend the time. I'm not looking for a shortcut. I'm not looking for a way to make it take less time. Yeah. Because that's just anathema. That just doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Who say right? For example, AI comes up with fifteen great ideas. That you yeah. Just said, whose idea is it? That's a great question. Who does that idea belong to? Um, I, I wonder whether this is what needs to be essentially legislated. 
um, it will have homogenized them out of a thousand other ideas yeah. that people will have posted online. Yeah. But so technically, it will some, have been there. Somewhere, someone somewhere will go think, fucking no AI's swipe my idea. I mean, it's more... Yeah. It's, it's, Where that's it's a legal than, grey area. It's worse even than that. Yeah. You can tell AIs to literally draw art in the style of specific artists, yeah. right? And then it draws art that looks exactly like they've drawn it. Mm. Now, the, 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 the thing, the workaround is, well, he didn't draw it. You know, yes. so it's technically not illegal, but yes. it's stealing work from that artist, undeniably. It's using his work without yeah. his permission to copy his style and generate work that looks like his. Yeah. And then it's depriving that artist of potential commission mm. money because it made it without his, his involvement yes. at all. It's like, uh, it's the idea that like putting hard work and time and dedication into something mm. is like a fool's errand. Yes, oh, yeah. that's what it's saying. Yeah, an example, Chris Ray. Yeah, your lovely baby son. Yes, who you you yeah. dote on and enjoy. Oh, yeah. Now, I would imagine, I've not had yeah. to go through this myself, but there are probably elements of raising a young baby yeah. that are quite hard work. Oh, sure. Uh, emotionally taxing. Yeah, you know, and I imagine you've you you you've gone through periods of not having enough sleep. You know, being yeah. stressed. Yeah, you sure, know, yeah. but it's like all of that. Yeah, so like maybe getting up at 2 a.m. is not something Woof. you actively enjoy. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. early, that is. But what if there was a robot we could do that all of those could have done bits. every part of that yeah. and you would never have had to have held your child in the middle of the night and it would have taken away all the pain, all the work, all the hardship and you could have just slept all night long. Yeah. Would you have gone for that? No. No, exactly. Because the pain and the hard work is and the, the suffering bonding. is the bonding is the point. It's the you part know. There you go. Yeah. I understand. There you go. That is, that is, that is such a powerful. Very analogy, powerful, John. isn't you did, it? You did very well there. You should just end the show. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I, think you, I think you solved it. Yeah, I think. That's my head. I, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Fuck AI art. Fuck AI art. Yeah. I'm going to march in the streets. Anyway, my new movie's coming out uh, <laughs> in a year. Anyway, hello. <laughs> I, yeah. I caught up with you. <laughs> I downloaded a piece of software. Hello, I've I've created um, using AI. Yeah. I've created a movie about the fall of AI art. <laughs> yes. How ironic! It's very meta, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it's very accurate. My new my new book's called Heaven Corp. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, it sounds really good. <laughs> it does actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I mean, here's me being salty about AI art. Maybe I'm just an asshole. Maybe you're. Maybe an I just haven't read like a really good, you know, AI. No, but the point, even if it is good, that's not the point, is it? Even if it yeah. is good, fuck them. Because it's not their idea. Yeah. They didn't do it. They didn't put it. It's put, not anyone's idea. They didn't put it in. There's not There's not a soul behind it. There's not a yeah. single soul behind it. And and the worst art in the world has a soul behind it. Yeah. But yeah. But this will be utterly soulless. And it's it, it misses the whole point of what being creative is. And what's so funny about it is it's made by non-creative people. So of course mm. they don't understand. Because a creative person would never make this technology. No. Because they'd be too busy fucking making art. They're doing art. you got to love Chris Ray. Yeah. I like my new shelves. Hey! hey! Uh, shelf, shelf, so shelf, I got shelf, home. Shelf, shelf, shelf. I got home from football. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. On you like Saturday. Football. Yeah. Um, pissed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> roaring. Roaring. Roaring pissed. I had a, I had a, a whiskey shot with a pickle juice te- um like what? what chaser no wait let's what? not let's not gloss over we've this. got what? to back up well i was what? so i went to pickle juice yeah as in that's not a euphemism no, it's not like a the juice of a pickle okay. juice from my pickle oh, oh. oh. my dick's green ah <laughs> juice that, explains green dick. It. <laughs> that explains Port it that explains i went to newport right don't don't um, <laughs> okay do we not have drinking water there <laughs> oh you got pickle water they do have though a tap room for tiny rebel which is a relatively well-known beer brand. You'll see it in Tesco. Oh, okay. Um, relatively well-known. So that was very nice. We went in there, had a couple of beers. Sure. Uh, but they also, well, they had two things on the bar. They had two signs, and I bought them both uh, because I'm a sucker. Yeah. Uh, well, some part, part of our groups bought them both. So one was a Yorkshire pudding burger. <laughs> that sounds incredible. So instead of a bun, bun, you Yorkshire had a Yorkshire pudding, pudding on the bottom oh, and a Yorkshire pudding on the top. That does actually sound pretty yeah, good. I, and I had one of them. And let me tell you, Fuck. that was good. Every bit as good as it sounds. I'd recommend going there just for that. Actually. Okay, good to know. Good the to second know. one was a like a drawing on a chalkboard of Pickle Rick. Oh, yeah. And it said, drink our whiskey shot with a pickle juice. Okay. And so one of our party was like, yeah, all right then. Yeah. So, so bought, you have a whiskey? You have a whiskey. So we bought seven whiskeys shots and yep. seven pickle, pickle juice. juice shots. Wait, and is the pickle you... juice alcoholic? Or no, it's just, just pickle juice. Wait, do you, do you have to juice. buy the pickle juice separately? Well, they, they, it's a chaser, so you just put it, buy it, it together. But, but sure, yeah, it comes with. Yeah, yeah that's the yeah. idea. They, you, you'll have, I'll have seven of those. Right. Put it on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. So anyway, we had it. It wasn't 
completely awful. So you have it straight after, kind of like tequila. Like you, you do it all at yeah. the, in the fell yeah, swoosh. Yeah. But you're not mixing them in the glass. It's no. Duba whiskey, duba pickle. Correct. And it must just be like vinegar. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. But they, they sort of balanced each other out in a weird kind of way. I'm not sure I'd do it again. Okay. Sure, yeah. But I did it at the time. Anyway, I got home pissed. Yep. On an unrelated topic. Um, and I had lovely shelves for my, so my Star Wars figures... Your collectibles. Collectibles. Your collectibles, collectibles have not yeah. been displayed for over a year. Actually, they've been Gosh. on top of the wardrobe. My statuettes, statuettes, yes. yeah. Because we had the kitchen done and we sold our display, or my display cabinet, with for the Star Wars stuff, which was agreed. And that's fine. And <laughs> for a year, I've sort of, I've not even said I particularly want shelves, but Liz is like, no, we should get shelves so you can put your Star Wars figures. I'm like, okay, we'll we'll get around to that. Yeah. So for my birthday, although it's not my birthday yet, she was just picking a day she knew I'd be out, uh, which was this particular very day. She got, she bought me some lovely shelves. They're very, very nice, mm. awesome shelves, and put the Star Wars figures on. Nice. So I got home and they, they was wrapped in a banner. Happy birthday! Uh, lovely. I was like, oh, that's awesome. And guess who put them up? Oh, um, Leroy from All Saints. It was Leroy from All Saints. <laughs> yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> No, it's John. Yeah, whoa! Hi, yeah. well, John. I was the mystery DIY man. Yeah, yeah. like in changing I no, rooms. I had no idea. You're like happening. Handy Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Handy Andy? Remember Handy Andy? Remember this relevant podcast we make? Yeah. <laughs> handy Andy. Handy Andy. He'll He's give you back. a hand shandy, Andy, Andy, Handy, Shandy. <laughs> wanking. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. I Thank was, you very much. A wank yeah. for that. They look very good. No, they were good shelves. They are it wonderful shelves. They're so. reclaimed scaffolding boards. Oh, that's oh, that looks that will look. Yeah. Good. It does look good. It's You'll a, dense, it's a dense piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it really is. Mm. And then it's it's proper in the wall. I'll tell you what else is dense. It's right up in yeah. the wall. Your fucking house walls. I know, right? Yeah. That wall is a fucking pain in the ass. So we had a um, uh, guy put our curtain pole back up. Yeah, like a professional. Yeah, and he was effing and jeffing. Yeah, when he was when he was trying to put that it was, in, it was awful. Yeah, yeah, it was really. We got him in. Yeah, got him in. yeah. And you got yours in. My what? You got the holes in. You could, the, hole, the, the holes. holes. You got yeah, the holes you got him in. in. Yeah, got the holes in. Got the shelves in. Yeah, yeah. and they look awesome. It looks really, really good. Amazing. Yeah, well, I mean, full credit to Liz. They're good looking shelves. They really yeah. are. They, they are. Quite Liz did most of the work. Yeah, Liz, yeah. Liz did the purchasing. I had no, no involvement whatsoever, other no. than turning up pissed mm. and going, "Whoa, the shelves! Look at these! Oh, oh, you got any pickle juice? Look at the shelves! Well, also, yeah, where's my whiskey? <laughs> well, my, my my thinking was like, I went straight to bed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, stop bothering me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, pickle <ring. laughs> <laughs> He's not far yeah. off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they were, I mean, like, you have very, very hard walls. Thank you. They were very long screws. Yeah. So there's no, there's, there's, no, no there's no hiding place. Just gotta, just, just gotta, gotta persevere. Through. Yeah. yeah. I'd gonna, have given up. It's gonna get better before I'm it glad, gets worse. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. I'd have given up. And there'd just be holes in the wall. Well, when I started, I was like, Got the first one in all right, and yeah. I was like, "This is gonna be easy." These are so sturdy. These are so. I reckon you could sit on this; it'll be so sturdy. Bloody hell! And that was like hole one, and then by like hole six, I was like, "Maybe don't sit on it." <laughs> like, there's yeah. a bit of. There's oh, a bit they're of, not good. They're not good. There's a bit anywhere. of padding here. I mean, they're pretty sturdy, yeah. but at the same time, like, I mean, the the, the collectibles aren't too heavy. Either. No, so no, it'll be yeah. it'll be more than fine. Oh yeah. yeah, they look great. Well happy with those shelves. Well happy. Yeah, they're still He's, standing at least. They still standing. Down, yeah. I need to arrange the figurines accordingly. I haven't had a chance to do it properly it's yet. Palpatine yeah. up on Palpatine's there. up. The, the main ones are up. I just need to realign and reconfigure them slightly. I see. We were judging the at height some point. based on your six six month old child. Yes. Where we were like, well, by Eventually the time he he's, may be able to. And reach we were this. like, by the time he's twelve, yeah. he might be able to reach him, or like, you know, he'll know by then not to touch him. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'll have told him. He'll have Oh, I'll have told him. He'll have learned the hard way. I'll have told him many yeah. times by the time he's twelve. Of course, by the time he's twelve, he'll be faster than you. So oh, he probably already is. <laughs> yeah, smarter yeah. too. Smart. He's definitely yeah. smarter than you already. I yeah. keep, I keep looking around and just go, "How's he done that?" <laughs> he's a very happy child. Like, very happy. When the power drill was going, he doesn't didn't give a he shit. Didn't care. Yeah, really. Yeah, he's very smiley. He was super chill. Well, I was away. Last night was my, the only night I was in London. London. London town. Um, overnight last night for this said awards ceremony. Which you didn't win. Didn't win. That's all right. That's Don't all want right. to rub it in, but you didn't win. Yeah, bastards. <laughs> I didn't want to win. Take I thought, it from I thought you had a beautiful website. It's, yeah. Signed your mom. <laughs> <laughs> she nominated us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was away for the night. First night away. Since he's been born. Really? really? Wow. So I came home today. He was very happy to see me. Uh, it's very nice. That's Aww. nice. Very nice. That's very nice. So that was cool. Because you've even reined in the football a bit, haven't you? Oh, I've not been that much this year. Yeah. I've not been to Gillingham itself. 
for over a year. Ne- no, nearly a year. Yeah, they're doing uh, badly right now. Yeah, <laughs> bunch of pricks. Yeah. <laughs> remember, remember, you remember. Did you make a bet? Oh! Uh... No, that was last season oh. when, when we were bet on the number of goals we'd score, oh, which right. I actually won. Oh, uh, okay. I wish I'd paid more attention to that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this this year I just struggled to care. This year we're, do, we're doing fine by last year's standards, but the, the expectations were a lot higher. Well, yeah. So what we've discovered is that pouring money into a problem can solve it up until a point. Up until a point, <laughs> and then the talent of the players plays a major part. Oh, it, I mean, if you in, oh don't. <laughs> If you spend your money doing shit things, then shit things will happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Stop doing shit things. Oh, I see. That's good advice. Yeah. Stop doing shit things, everyone. They fucked it. Mm. And we're fucked. (laughs) But but good times. No, it was very poor Saturday. Yeah. And it pissed with rain as well. Great. But you came home. I did come home. What's that on the wall? Shelves. 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 Lovely. I like the day, that. I got love. Yeah. And it's a callback. To an earlier episode. Oh. Love a callback. I love, but ironically, mewing. Oh, is this. I have no recollection of talking about anything to do with this. Kids do it to uh, teachers? No. I've, I don't know what it is. No. Okay. Do you remember the. Uh, hey, I wish my chin. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You remember yeah, bone, I do remember that. Sm- bone smashing? Bone smashing. Yeah. Well, oh, no. there's another hot thing. Hot new body smashing trend. Mewing. Oh, God almighty. Now, there's no hammers involved. Thank Christ. Oh, but what so, is involved? So, mewing is a facial exercise oh. that we can all do right now. Okay. Let's do it. Am and I going to be more beautiful if I do this? We, well, I, I guarantee you'll instantly Are be... Are we going to have to say the word mew over and over? No. Oh. No. You don't have to make any weird noises. <clears throat> mewing is apparent. Apparently, according listeners, to, according to TikTok, air quotation, like, uh-huh. is apparently a way to train your jaw muscles oh. to make you more physically attractive. Wonderful. Nice. That is okay. Good. That, that is good, good news. Good news. So maybe, news. like, you know, this, this might be used as like a compliment to like bone smashing. Like, you know, maybe you spend like Do a eight, bit of bone smashing. You've done eight hours on the hammer and you want a break. You right. know, you might mew for a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what you do is very si- it's so simple. This one it's simple- so simple, even a fucking idiot can do it. <laughs> this really? one simple trick. Why has nobody done it? Okay, so all you have to do, mm. mewing, is is two things at the same time. Good. You have to a mm. suck your cheeks in, mm-hmm. but also push your tongue up onto the roof of your mouth. It takes a bit of practice. Mm. Okay, but I don't know. Maybe you start with pushing your tongue up, and then, and then suck your cheeks in. Oh, Nick! Now I think Nick's kind of getting. Yeah, <laughs> you you look you look at us. <laughs> what about this? I mean, that's maybe a bit. I think you're maybe going a I'm bit too to intense. Steal it a little bit. Mm. I think it's like okay. Mm. Audio is not going to be great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now for for the listener at home, Nick is oh, looking nice, like a yeah. like a Sigma King right now. <laughs> <laughs> And I the, think I get it. I think I get it. And the idea is that it's if, really it, it mm, aches quite mm, a lot. Does hurt, yeah. If it hurts, that shows it's that working. It's working. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now that now Nick, I'm, I feel like I've got a half squint when I do it as well. Yeah, to yeah. Really sell the whole like sex. Yeah, you're really good at it actually. Like that's very like yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah, and the idea is that if you do that for hours at. Ex- <laughs> You, do have that you look like you, do, I don't you look like you're doing a spicy shit. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I am. That's right. I, my, I don't think you've quite got it. Though. I am. You, you look, you look pained. My face, it does, it yeah. hurts. <laughs> okay, for the listener, uh, Chris Ray looks like a blowfish. Thank you. Kind of right now. Nick looks. Nick does look <laughs> like a bro, doesn't Nick, he? Nick looks like a Chad meme. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right now, yeah. Giga Chad. Nick's got it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Ex- oh, I'm gonna stop now. Okay, I think. Are I get you it. starting with like the cheeks getting sucked in or the tongue? Going I start up? with the tongue. I think you've got okay. to start. With the and tongue. I clench my jaw as well, which I don't think is necessarily part of it, but it helps. I clench my jaw, push my tongue up. I think you're putting a bit too much lip into it, Chris Ray. You're very yeah. pouty. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I yeah. can't help but do that. I can't help but be pouty. No, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it anymore. Yeah. Also, you're kind I of. I refuse. Like saying it's like you're saying mew with your mouth, kind of. Mm. Oh, that's. I guess that's why it's called mewing. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Kind of feels it. like yeah. that. that yeah. Feels right. Okay. Yeah. I hate it. Anyway, you know there's some science <laughs> behind this because. Oh. But a, what happens eventually then? 
I think the idea is that for several hours a day. I I think the idea is that you would suddenly develop like your your kind of like. I just pulled something in my chin. Yeah. I think something snapped. Oh, oh, Nick, you look. (laughs) No, my God. You look look so commanding. You look amazing. Do you have any stocks I should invest in? Oh, yeah. A Dogecoin. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. yeah, By the way, I love Elon. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) I think the idea is that You you do that for hours a day. And then eventually, like, it's like if you were lifting weights. The yeah, idea is that you, you are of... developing awkward jaw muscles. Yeah. That oh, will I'm make sure you... you are. Yeah. So my point is, everybody at home. Mew. Maybe try mewing. Why don't you mew? Mew yeah. along with me. Mew along with a with show called Hate. Mick. Yeah. Are you maybe feeling, like, too adjusted? Too yeah. happy? Maybe. Too beautiful? Maybe. Maybe mew? Maybe it's time to fuck up that face of yours. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so so that's like the soft counterpart to bone smacking. That's great. Bone that's, smashing. That's really. That's less intrusive. That's I really good. Guess. I get. I I guess. guess. And then just smack yourself with a hammer anyway. I yeah. think it is the same thing that I'd heard about because I'd heard that a load of kids were pulling faces at teachers, uh-huh. and it was called mewing. Mm. And I think what it is is I think mewing started as a thing, separate of teachers, as it were. And now it's become a weird trolling thing that you do to your teachers in class. So loads of kids in a classroom for some reason go completely silent. They don't answer any questions that the teacher says mm. and they all just do that face. Oh. And then it's kind of like a trolling thing. Oh. Like they're all trolling the teacher and... I don't get it. No, I don't think they do. I, I, they're idiots. They're fucking idiots. Because kids are fucking stupid. Yeah. I, I've, I've said it before. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't quite understand why anyone would want to be a teacher nowadays. Nope. And if you are a teacher Thank right now, task. I would actively encourage you to quit. <laughs> because... Yay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah because you, you're you better than this. You, you don't, are. You don't Whoever do- you are, you're better than You this. don't deserve this. No. Now go and, look after and, yourself. And yeah. kids are idiots. And you yeah. teaching them won't change that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strong, bewildering words from <laughs> the Dyer's <laughs> cast. <laughs> uh, but, God, they're beautiful, though. Yeah, all those kids I are beautiful. Those... I bet they look wonderful, yeah. yeah. giga-chad chins. Good on them. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I've lost it. Uh, I've got a, a love six home. Here we go. Yes. Um, it's about uh, AI. <laughs> yeah, he's back. <laughs> so I tied it together. Yeah. Get this. Good. There is a movement online, yeah. which I fucking love, which is people just filming the real world mm. and saying it was generated by really? AI. God. <laughs> so Where does it this, end? So there was this guy. And it's, but it's kind of like a protest. Mm. It's fucking genius, right? So there's this guy. He's just filming himself walking down the street. And he just says at the bottom, my prompt was handsome, seven foot tall man nice. walks down street. Yeah. Right. And then he's just he's just, wa- and he's just walking, looking into the camera like this. And he's like a fairly good looking yeah. guy, but he's clearly not seven foot tall. Yeah. And, uh, and then there's just all these fucking tech bros in the comments. just like, that's not fucking AI generated, mate. That's not Brilliant. AI. You did that. That's not AI. And they're, they're losing, losing their minds Brilliant. over it. And, it. and this guy is just, it's so funny. Fucking and good! He's just like, this it's is AI. so good. This yeah. is AI. He's actually using everything that they're trying to build yeah. against them because they want it to be so good that it's indistinguishable from real video, and yeah. so they are using that exact thing against them and going, "Yeah, no, this Sora AI. AI, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. Look how good looking this man is." And they're like, "No, n- n- though, yeah. no, it's not. No, it's like I thought you wanted this. Uh, yeah, I thought you wanted it to be indistinguishable." When it's indistinguishable, that means we can't tell that we're using your fancy fucking tech, yeah. you fucking bell end. It's like, what a win. I, I do, love it. I do love the kind of like the, the anti-AI trolling. But, but like obviously there's people developing quite sophisticated software, which yeah. is like we can add like a digital... Uh, like, like watermark. Yeah, like static into your image. So that like when an AI mm. tries to scan it, it just kind of fucks with yeah. it. And I also like people just like uploading a JPEG of a cat and calling like, this is a picture of a dog. <laughs> 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 Because if you tag it wrong, yeah. it will learn incorrect Brilliant. things from it. It's so Definitely good. Definitely a dog. This is, a dog. <laughs> yeah. this is called AI poisoning, and it's fucking amazing. Very good. Yeah. 100% a dog. <laughs> hey, guys. Is, guys, it's a dog. This, this is a, a tractor. This is a... <laughs> it's my gaping ass. <laughs> I've put so many JPEGs on my gaping ass yeah. onto the internet. Just, I've written a, dog, 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 yeah. dog, dog. <laughs> that would be quality. Imagine that if it just started to learn that. Yeah, and there was just imagine if we that could would be great. we could mobilize the anti AI community to yeah. just post loads of gaping assholes. Yeah, and then after a Don't. while, if we put enough out into the world, yeah, every AI generated image just starts to be gaping assholes, and the AI bros are like, "What's happening? I don't <laughs> what understand. Do we do? This is what we wanted. Anything I type, if I type like futuristic spaceship landing in the Star Wars universe, it's just a gaping oh, asshole. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, it's a futuristic spaceship 
But there's also a gaping, like there's just a gaping, <laughs> just always a gaping asshole in yeah. every picture. Sometimes it's small, sometimes it's very. It large. could, it could, yeah. You just have to spot it. Yeah, but it is, but there. It is there. Oh, could, and it's always could, there. Could, 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 could we? I love the image. It's great. Can we? Get could, could we? Could we remove the gaping asshole? No, no. We we, we actually li- have tried. literally nobody in this building. You can do. You can. Tr- you can we try any prompt Photoshop. you want. Yeah. I tried writing the prompt. Please do not include a gaping asshole. Yeah. Yeah. And I got three. <laughs> I got. I got even more. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> Literally no one in this building can do image manipulation. No, the, the skills yeah. of image creation and manipulation were lost in the yeah. great AI purge yeah. of yeah. 2024. No, but literally all you have to do is copy and paste. And yeah, take no, we the can't. Ad- no, okay. We've right, been using yeah. only AI generated imagery yeah. <laughs> for the last six months and everything else has been forgotten. Hey guys, like, I'm just looking at the script for mm. the upcoming AI produced movie. Mm. And it's Madam really Web weird. Too. Yeah, it's really weird because in, oh, gosh. in the... In, I have, I've been reading lots of reviews oh, about no, that yeah. particular film. It, we're in the closing moments of Act 1 of Madam Web 2, mm. uh, which is meant to be like a real turning point in the plot. Yeah, no, I've read and, the script. It's fucking amazing. And, yeah. and, and no, it's great. No, no, no it's, really gonna, good. it's gonna make yeah. us millions. Yeah, it's gonna like the first one did in 2024. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's this weird bit where there's a massive gaping asshole. Yeah. Like just like behind Dakota... Uh, Johnson? Johnson? Yeah, Johnson. that's right. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the gaping asshole scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And my question gaping is, asshole scene number fifteen. Uh, yes, it's like, not actually the only appearance for gaping asshole. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. but but I guess my question would be, uh, uh, why? Well, I can answer that. Okay. Um, <laughs> we uh, yeah. can't remove it. Oh, interesting. Can't yeah. It. Whatever script we generate, and we made a lot. Yeah. Uh, they all have. They all have it at different moments, uh, yeah. but it's always there. We and have that... named literally every building and every animal, and in every version, there is a gaping asshole. Yeah. And one guy, quite young guy, told us that if we had something called, I think it was Microsoft Word, yeah. mm. we could actually edit mm. the words, but w- none of us had it. No. Yeah. And none of us, and if we had it, we didn't know. It's really weird. Like, like we, we told it, make prompt was Oscar winning. Oscar winning. Oscar winning movie, maybe like slightly fewer gaping assholes yes and it's a great movie and i think we've had experts review it it's, it's tested very well positive screenings yeah. um we know this is going to win an oscar there is um however just right in the middle of the movie mm. there is a 13 minute segment <laughs> yeah. which is nothing but a protracted close-up of a gaping asshole <laughs> in real time and, and, and no way is, to remove and it. a few people have said this and a few people said well you know when you come to make the film of course you don't have to make that scene but my counter argument to that is we will be using ai to make the film yeah like i yeah. and you know we haven't been able to generate a script without a gaping asshole in yeah. it so we will just <laughs> pipe that into the movie making ai yeah and if anything we'll probably get more and what's, gaping assholes, and what's yeah. kind of weird is that i cannot stress enough how the rest of the movie is perfect yeah 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 like flawless technology this is why we're just gonna have to go yeah. ahead with it john yeah. it's just kind of weird though because there is this you're just one gonna have bit. to accept this yeah just, I'm, a, I'm sorry yeah and we'll, sorry. Just, we'll put a disclaimer at the start that just says look i know there's a gaping asshole in yeah. in this movie the thing <laughs> is, but right, just enjoy the rest we live in a world where the luddites just can't understand that the technology is moving this way right yeah. and we've managed to get the idiotic public to accept that ai has replaced literally mm. all of their jobs and they're all destitute right i think getting them to accept that every movie they love has a gaping asshole scene for 13 minutes in the middle of the film is just another hurdle for us to overcome yeah and i genuinely think we can get there john together maybe that's when you go to the toilet genius uh, during 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 the gaping asshole moment that's yeah because you'll think of about your asshole yeah and then you'll think, you know what, I need to evacuate I need that. to, yeah. yeah. I know that this is a natural pause oh. in the narrative of the film. It's like an it's interval. Just, yeah. yeah. You just be like, oh man, that guy's got an and amazing And then eventually all, all the films <laughs> then, will have them. Yeah. yeah. That man's oh, the, it's the gaping asshole. It's interval. the gaping asshole interval. Yeah. I'll just go have a shit. Time to get some popcorn. And he's like, hey everyone, this is my gaping asshole. Yeah. And you notice how clean my colon is. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you should go void your bowels now. Yeah. Don't worry. You've got 13 Don't minutes. worry. You'll You're always, you'll always have 13 We promise. And then we'll resume exactly where we left off. Exactly. Which is an ambulance hitting one of the villains. Like a great that, ha- that happens. This is like a great movie. That happens yeah. in the movie. I think we should go see it. Fucking hell. I mean, our show's called A Show Called Hate. Is there likely to be a movie we hate more than this? I've, re- I've read reviews. So have I. They're all awful. Like, unanimously. Yeah. The yeah. worst film ever made. Yeah. like I have to see It's kind of fascinating in a horrible way, isn't it? Like, I think we could learn from it. Maybe. We could go see it. Learn what not to do. This could be our next Sonic. How what not to do like. How what not to do like movie time. But yeah. it's kind of like, by the sound of it, it's so bad. Mm. It's almost kind of like bad in interesting ways. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Sure. Like Why, fascinatingly bad. Like, think about the movies that, that they don't put out. <laughs> then they put then they put this out. There's an infinite number Just of Just because it's kind of Spider-Man adjacent. Someone believed in this. 
I remember Madame Web from the cartoon. Yeah. And it was an old lady. Yeah. Well, the whole idea is this is kind that of was, like, even that was kind of this weird. This is the past because we see a young see. Peter Parker, don't we? We see a we see do a, we we see like a ten year old Peter Parker. No, really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh god, that kind of makes it feel. And if worse. we don't see him, he's alluded to. But we we see a, a Ben. We see Ben Parker as a young really? man. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so the whole is... point is, is that Dakota Johnson uh... is is the old lady Madam Web, but this is the past. So that this is her young. origin. Isn't she blind? Madam Web. I think in I think what's important to remember is that like a brand. Does any of this matter? No. They had a name. They legally owned a name. They were like, let's just create the name up Web. Cloth. I've yeah. seen a compilation of it was a collection of behind the scenes interviews oh, sure. from writers on the most recent swathe of, of Marvel movies. Yes. And it just cuts between them and it has at the bottom uh, every movie they wrote or directed or whatever. And it's a compilation of all the times that they say, we actually didn't read the comics or we actually didn't pay any attention or we decided to move away from what I was see. written in the comics. And it's staggering. <laughs> like, I think there's about 13 people, all writers on recent Marvel movies, and they're all saying either they didn't read the comics yeah. or they deliberately moved away from what was in them. So that explains the recent Marvel, Marvel kind of issues. thing. Doesn't Although it? this is Sony Marvel, isn't it? I know, which is an I even think, bigger is, point yeah. of, of disconnection. But All even, their movies just, are awful, aren't they? Well, um, I've seen Morbius. No, I'm not going to see that. Ooh, he's, not, he's not disagreeing. Yeah. yeah. yeah like Sony, uh, Venom... I haven't seen Venom, but Appar- I don't care. Apparently, they're just generic movies. Yes. Yeah. I um, think they're what else? sort of getting worse. They're going to do Craven later this oh, year. Who's, who is this for? I know. He sounds like it's over companies. He's, he's, he's crying for help, like an Oy. intervention. Like, stop me. Yeah. Before I before I kill again. <laughs> yeah, it sounds just lame. Oh, God. They're making all these Spider-Man movies, but they can't use it's, Spider-Man. Yeah. It's really tragic. It's actually kind of pathetic. It's a bit sad. I kind of want to, like, steal Sony's lunch money yeah. and, like, but, kick him in the balls. The weird thing is that there must be, like, they must be making some money yeah. off these movies. Like, Madam Web... Morbius. I don't know whether Madam Web is, but I think they made money off the other ones. But Morbius made a a, a, a famous like loss at the yeah. box office. That's and good. they re-released it. Isn't yeah. Dakota Johnson like quite a reputable actor? Dakota Johnson's kind of a mystery, a Hollywood mystery. Um, but she's reputable enough. She was Fifty Shades of Grey. So yeah, I'm yeah. so confused because I'm. But ne- she's been going around going like promoting this movie. Yeah, yeah. But she's I know also, she's contractually obligated to do she's so. She's also but... been anti-promoting it though. She's really? been saying weird things, oh. like very strange things. She's been there's loads of clips collected of the weird shit she said it like yeah. like you know the junkets and stuff. Sure. Where she's kind of said, oh, I liked the first draft. Oh. When someone said, "Oh, did you enjoy when you got the script? What did you think?" She was like, "I liked the first draft." I see. And then she just stares like this dead stare into the camera, and everyone's like, "Okay, uh, yeah, right." So she's fucking weird. Yeah. The thing is, like, I've never seen a movie in with Dakota Johnson in it where sure. I go, "Like, my God, what? she's she's brilliant." Yes, mind you, I haven't seen a lot of movies where she's bad. But my point is, if you look at her track record, you've got Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, and you're like, eh, eh, eh. You know, and then you've got yeah. like. Madam Web, being like, uh, I know it's a paycheck. Maybe she's slumming it. Maybe she's a really good actor, but she's Maybe. like slumming it. But like, what's a good movie with her? Because the track record yeah. is not looking good. No. She was in the US office in was the finale. She? Was yeah, she? Yeah, in the was last couple really? of episodes. Yeah. I have no um, memory of that. Side character. Um, and then when interviewed about that, she said that she kind of hated all of the cast and that they were all really mean to her, <laughs> which seems very unlikely. Yeah. Uh, so again, like, what's the common denominator? Yeah. I see. I think it's Dakota Johnson is the common denominator. Interesting. Yeah. We can go see it, or we well, can wait for streaming. I might wait till Mad- Madam Web Two. Madam, what? Two Web Two. <laughs> two Madam. Webbing. The webbing. The web. The webbing. <laughs> two web. The webinar. <laughs> the webinar. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we've started. And it's and it's um, broadcasted solely through Zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or teams. The webinar. <laughs> Anyhow, let's let's get out of this. Mess. Yeah, I'm done with this fucking podcast. Uh, what do we permanently? Th- what do we think? One love or hate? Uh, Ooh, I oh. think hate for me I think because hate I hate me. AI. Aren't. Yeah. Your opinion is irrelevant. But that's fine. Yeah. You by the way, by the way, I just looked at Spotify while we were talking nice. a little while ago. I know what you're gonna say. It was our 150th episode last time. Yeah, we we completely. Oh no! Yeah, we, <laughs> we just. <laughs> We, and we just be, forgot. Yeah, no. We completely breeze through that with no, oh, no right, fanfare. Guys, let's make yeah. our 152nd episode a 51st. really big deal. This oh, is they, oh, I see. Oh, no, yeah. it's too late now. This yeah. 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 Let's get a fucking like, cake or something like that. 152. 152nd birthday bonanza. Let's do it. Right, next time. See you there, everyone. Bye.